All right. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Monday's live stream. Thank you guys for hanging out. Boy, it's tough to get a title sometimes for these. I'm trying to think. I'm like, oh, we, we, we trying to look at the movers on the day. You know, there's A T E R, there's B B I G, B Big. Gosh, so many um, crazy stocks nowadays. It's always difficult to be like, okay, what do I title the stream? Do I do this stock, this stock, this stock? How should I phrase it? What kind of sentiment should I place? Always um takes maybe a little bit longer than it should, but anyways, that's part of the fun, right? Um, so yeah, market, a little bit of a gap down. And that's what I was saying over the weekend. It's like, uh, it's not really all out bullish. It's not all out bearish. It's just flopping around. I mean, and, and of course, you know, SPY was coming up into that resistance. You know, if we, we I'm curious to see what the futures look like. Yeah, the futures, my resistance was 44.75. High of the overnight session, 44.72. And that's why it's important, you know, when, when we're talking about some of these tr types of trades, you know, you know, talking about gaps, D King, which is good. You know, you, I'm, I'm glad you're looking at the futures on Sunday night, but SPY technically hasn't gapped up. Yeah, SPY gapped up big time, big time. There's a lot of time till the open. 0.3% is within the standard deviations of what's kind of normal. So we can obviously clearly sell off and now we're actually gapping down. Not only did we drop that 0.3% that we were up, we're now down 0.3%. But anything can change, and that's why it's just important to, to check the open. This is why swing trading is kind of like cracked. Unless, you, unless you're trading the futures, it's like, uh, it's, it's sketchy. But yeah, if you, if you want to take a look at what I am long, got some nice uh, Tesla snap, a firm. But these are all very low risk trades. They're very small with debit spreads. And then short coin as a hedge. So it'll be interesting to see what plays out. Good to see you sample stuff. Welcome. Let me pop out the chat so I can see you guys a lot better. But yeah, in terms of uh, potential trade setups and stuff, let's see what I've got over here. I've actually um, got DNA. DNA. DNA, if it can break that 13... I actually don't mind it. It's 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 actually one of the better penny stocks. Just be just be, uh, be just be careful. A better ch uh, chart of penny stocks. So I'm gonna set an alert over that 13 1340, and that is where I would like to come in and buy DNA. Stop is gonna be tricky, but underneath that 1250 would be a reasonable one. So that's DNA. Uh, next up, we talked about Apple not likely going much higher than 150. If Apple bounces in the morning. 147 might be the potential dip buy or it's not dip buy short Sh looking to potentially short apple on a bounce so apple short then we've got yeah a deep sq dip buy i don't know if it'll get there today but a dip buy and sq at about like the 252 area i have an alert set over there um tesla we talked about that Tesla, 765, 760, dip buys, Snapchat, yeah, that 80, Snapchat can get to 80, That's that would potentially be a dip buy, uh, but really, it's in the title over here, and it is bros, bros, tightening range, I used to trade these all the time, back when I only option traded, and did the cash account, so we've got our high, low, lower high, higher low, lower high, could we get a bull break or a bear break? I don't know. So over here, 5309 is that upside break point. To the downside, 5141 could be the downside break point. Good morning, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So bros, what's cool about this is IV gets crushed during this time period. Anybody that bought call options up here or put options down here or anything in between, they're down. They're down on their money. And what that means is the premium is cheap relative to what it potentially can do. So bros, October 15th, oh gosh, widespreads might just go with one call option and just let that thing just crank. Sonny Yang says, aren't I also an NVIDIA? No, I, I, I am in my investment portfolio, but I said, I like to buy dip by, or I'd like to dip by NVIDIA at 209. I dip bought NVIDIA at 212 and had to stop out. 
it, 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 it you know, I, I had a 1% stop. It dropped 1.6%, but then rallied 7.5% later in the week. So, it, no, I, I, I was trying to dip by NVIDIA earlier this week. I wasn't looking to chase it. And I said, NVIDIA, if you watch yesterday's game plan, likely to hit some resistance because we're coming to it from the bottom side. Is Piton due for a bounce up? Um, probably not. No, we talked about Piton like 60s lower. Uh, Piton 69. Yep, just waiting for that. Uh, and just because I say Piton 69 does not mean it's just going to do this and vertical and just dump to 69. There could be trends. It doesn't even have to touch 69. <clears throat> To me, it just looks like it's more likely to head to 69, and that's why I would potentially dip by it. T doc short puts. Yeah, 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 yeah. You could do T doc for a short. That's a beautiful short setup on the daily time frame underneath 133.60. And that's right where we're at pre market. Yep, 133.60. Maybe a little bit lower, 132. Yeah. It's a aggressive, but you could do it. AAS thoughts on Macy's as a day trade. Oh, I thank you, Bryce. M? Gosh, Macy's. Look at this daily chart, Bryce, on Macy's. What a beast. Oh, look exactly what it did. Broke out. Back tested the former breakout area, so if you missed on the way out, you can catch on the way back in. We talked about this trend line. We got the trend line break. We hit the resistance. We pulled back right to a confluence of support, a higher low because of the downtrend break and the flat top resistance, which is now support, we get that higher high and break out. Um, I, I I don't see any yet. Yeah, Macy's, sure, you could buy over the pre-market. You could buy over Friday's high. That's so aggressive. I don't think, I mean, sure. I mean, wh for what? Uh, that's difficult. I mean, you can do whatever you want. I don't say it's, I would say it's not a good setup, but because it's already done the beautiful moves. We want to be in as soon as they make that beautiful move. And that gives you the wiggle room to scale in. Yeah, good morning, Bryce. How's it going? Good morning. It's going well. Yeah, yeah. Macy's is at exhaustion risk up here. Be careful for reversals. Well said. Yeah, when, you, when you've already done the bull breaks, you're just at risk for snapbacks. That's all. That's on ASS. Ass. Let's check out Ass. It's not real. It's not real. Personally, I'm bullish. Makes sense. I would be too. Did I talk about Amazon for short term? Good to see you, Charles. Welcome. Let's check out AMZN. <laughs> Is that for real? <laughs> okay, well, we've got um, right over here, Amazon. we got our high, low, lower high, higher low. We're getting into a tightening range. Good luck, Bryce. Oh, nice. Well, thank you. <laughs> so we got Amazon. We got our high, low, lower, high, higher, low. There's a gap to be filled at 34.62. No, the gap does not have to be filled. Just the gap is a reference point. So watch this reference point on the gap. However, Amazon's gapping down and it's getting clapped, isn't it? Yeah, it's getting clapped. So tech a little bit weaker today. Uh, Amazon short term. It's likely not going to sell off much beneath 33.33, but we could see that today. So a little $50 drop. Otherwise, now we've created a lot of resistance at 34.14. So I wouldn't expect it to go much higher than that. In fact, could be a potential Amazon short trade up at that level. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Eric. Tim L, good morning. <laughs> Let's make some money. Well, first we got to analyze correctly. But yeah, Tim L, selling those iron condors on SPY is definitely the way to go sometimes, right? <laughs> There's Tesla getting gobbled up in the pre-market already. Every little dip is getting munched, munched, munched away. Where's Bryce going? She got your tea. Yeah, I got my own tea. Got your own tea. Hey, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Oh, and shout out to Sample Stuff over here. Oh, yeah. No way. Tip Jar, your first 10-bagger Friday before close? Oh, no way. Friday before the close? 
on Apple 147 zero day till expiration calls when it failed at 147 late in the day and then pumped in at four cents out at 40. Wow, congrats on that 10X sample stuff. Yeah, Apple, the option chain, if you can, ca if you can catch it right at the end of the day, Ooh, you get a good rally. Yeah, Apple, good, nice, good breakout over 146. Yay, we get a nice, good pump for 147.47. That makes sense. These are probably worth four, so four cents. That means he bought bought them for four dollars. Gosh, and then and then as Apple pumped into the end of the day, that four dollars turned into forty. So if you buy ten of those at four, you spent forty dollars, turned it into four hundred dollars. Now, that does not happen all the time. Most of the time, you're going to lose the $40, but nice trade. As long as you understand the probabilities, then that, that's a rare trade. So congratulations on that. Went to the cemetery and yelled at my grandparents for voting in the elections again. <laughs> oh, Jeremiah, good to see you. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good morning, everybody. Okay, ATVI, ATV, uh, lower highs, lower lows. ATV's been bearish for quite a while. It's been getting shorted. I would expect it to continue to drop just a little bit. Yep, and if, you have, if you have any more specifics though, feel free to ask them. But if there's just a ticker, I'm just gonna briefly break it down. CRM, Salesforce, pull back too much. Um, look at the four hour time frame. We've had uh, one, Two, three, four, five. We've had 20 hours of just straight buying. I think we can pull back for four to eight hours of that. And even then pulling back very small. Uh, so yeah, Salesforce, very healthy pullback. In fact, I'd love to grab a dip by at 273 if I could get it on a market sell-off, which we may or may not get today. Odds kind of lean towards it whenever we're gapping down. Yep, Uber munched too. Lucid pump pre market. Nice. Q's about to dump, maybe. Stay nimble. Don't get an idea stuck in your head. As long as you can do that, you'll be good to go. How are you doing, Bryce? I'm good. I'm thirsty this morning. I know. We um we probably had a lot of salt this weekend. We had yet another birthday, so We've had three birthdays in, what, one week? Boy, cake, other stuff. Cake and birthday food. Oh, and birthday food. My tummy <laughs> cracked. <laughs> but I'm just going to eat a ton of carrots and drink a ton of water. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, beer, wine. Oh, I feel like I've aged 10 years. Okay, so we've got 10 seconds to the bell. Let's get ready. Tesla, again, we talked about 780 being resistance. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we got. Boeing gapping up. Boeing uh, needs probably a pullback first. Financials extended into resistance, but probably could just go sideways. There goes Tesla off at the open. Beautiful, beautiful move. They're just gobbling it up. Gobbling, gobbling, gobbling. Oh, hey, something's making money today. Is a firm just ripping or something? Oh, yeah, a firm ripping. Nice, good move. Good pump, morning pump. I'm just going to hold Tesla for a bit. There goes Snapchat as well. A-T-E-R. This was a trade that I was looking at over 14. But just holding on to Tesla. do 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 don't fail here, Tesla. There we go. There goes Tesla. Uh, is it going to break the pre-market high? I don't know. There goes a firm as well. Well, there we go. Nice good move. Snapchat. There you go. Tesla, new highs. Perfect. That's the liquidity that I, that, that I need for this take profit. Nope. That's an immediate pullback. 
Give me the fill, Tesla. See, look at that. See that? See those snapbacks? Some of those snapbacks over there? Give me the fill. Yeah, I got the fill. 2.9. That's a good fill. Thank you, Thinkorswim. I guess you can you you guarantee a good fill if you get a if you put in the limit orders. But there goes a firm ripping, clipping, dipping, sipping. PLTR thoughts. Yeah, it's uh, Palantir. Did you watch yesterday's video, that guy? PLTR? Not at the dip by, so it looks like it wants to come lower this morning. So just be careful. Do, 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 do. Trying to get filled now on the firm. Whoa. Give me the fill, a firm. Fill, getting filled is so hard in this market sometimes. There's Tesla still beast moding. Nice, good stuff. Would like that to sell off first, though. Did I get filled on a firm? I did. Excellent. Sixty-five. I am checking out this ATER. Long ATER on that pullback right there. Again, just grabbing the bid. Got filled. Beautiful move. Oh, trying to get a little bit more. Uh, higher high, not a lot of follow through. Here we go. Big squeeze on ATER. Nice, good move. Excellent stuff. 14 was that target, man. And there's Tesla sold the top right up there. 780, 77880 is the high print. A firm still doing just fine. Okay, how's it going, everybody? So, ooh, here we go. We got AMC pumping in the morning. Nice, good stuff. Cool, cool, cool. Not bad. ATR, that was a good, good for a little partial, but I'm going to give it a few more minutes. Try to let it pump a little bit. Yeah, 1669 as the stop, and then 1364. 1364 is the stop, and then 1669 on ATER. That's a free trade, which is cool. Googs. Yeah, tech getting thwacked in the morning. Watch out. Tech getting thwacked. Because of Snapchat? Yeah, straight dumpage. <laughs> Should have uh, covered Snapchat first thing in the morning, but now it's actually getting oversold into support. KHC. KHC. That's a nice good little breakout. KHC. Oh, it looks like ATR wanted to tag the stop. KHC. Interesting. Could be starting to break out. 3640, 3670. And look at that, ATR. Glad I was protective on that final stop. Again, I would love to just take that and, and go and look at that dump. See? That's why we trail stops. Yeah, weans at the penny stocks. Look at that. See? Look at those dumps. Bull flag into a pop, straight into a dump. Boeing, though, 226.60. was a great morning move as well. Financials are still holding their breakout. KHD is still going. Very nice. Do, 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 do. Airbnb pump in the morning, then dump later in the day. AMD. 104. This is a little bit oversold for AMD. 
do like that move. Very nice. 10397. And I think I, uh, I'm going to try and hold A and B for a little bit longer. But again, 104.75 will be that target. Yeah, KHC. What is this, Kraft Heinz? Beautiful little bull pullback, like the Kutcher Company. How did DNA do? DNA broke the 13. Actually, this is a trade setup. DNA over here. DNA right here. Tesla pump. So I'm going long DNA. Stop beneath 1297. That's the low of the day. That's reasonable. Okay, how's SQ doing? Square coming down. Oil stock's been ripping lately. MRO, CVX, SLB. Yeah, we've been saying Ryan uh, right bullish oil, forward slash CL. Oil up 2%. Oh, wow, beautiful breakout on DNA. 23. Looking for just a little bit more on DNA. Trying to add some liquidity over here. And there goes KHC. Mm -hmm. But maybe it's not a breakout market. We'll see. How's it going, Bryce? How are you doing? Good. I'm just trying to entertain Peter. Beyond dump for the win. Nice. <laughs> BYND. Oh, yeah. 109. Yeah. Yeah, let that come down just a little bit more. Still holding DNA. Looking for a little bit more. Could take a partial. Would love to take the partial. But again, part of trading is bag holding the winners. Yeah, Spy. Still getting clapped. Six and AXP moving. Nice, nice, nice. And there's the spy coming on down. Are you waiting for a breakout on DNA? Yeah, I thought it was going to break out. I could have taken the partial. I wanted to. I'm going for at least that uh, 39s, 1339s. I think that's reasonable. But the spy is um, selling off. I could take a break even trade, but that's like uh, such a waste of effort. Tesla right back to the highs. Amazing move. Right back to the low, breaks the lows, goes back to the highs. What a bunch of shenanigans. Shopify, Shopify breaks down today. <laughs> Very interesting. And there's KHC. Nice good uh, bull break right there. That was the move right there. Hmm. I could just let that one um, cook in the background. Beyond coming down to... 104-ish area, weekly setup. <clears throat> uh, beyond? Uh, what, what do you mean? We weekly, su weekly setup? Uh, BYND? Maybe like a, a week-long position setup. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I, you'd want to let it bounce and then you could short the bounce. How was your trip? It was um, it was good. Lots of um, lots of fun stuff. That's for sure. Hood is also breaking out. Hood is in that game plan. And KHC, I'm just going to let it go off into the corner. <clears throat> yeah, there's uh, there's the there's the futures right over there selling off just a little bit. Yeah, no, no morning pump. Spy support is 44186. 44186. And again, in this market, higher high, not a lot of follow through. Odd though, because penny stocks have been having more follow through. Yeah, we'll see if that support holds. My support's 1305 
for DNA. Again, could have taken the partial, but wanted to be nice and patient. <laughs> and remember, Greg, use your options. Yeah, it's true. You didn't study them for nothing. <laughs> okay. Well, you guys are you guys are you guys are checking a lot of stuff. I made 150 off the open on mm -hmm. mRNA. Nice. Moderna makes a good move like each and every morning. Wow. What a great downside move for Moderna. And DNA might be the might be it. That literally that was just the false breakout. Let's sell off. That's so sad. But you know, it's a, it's a penny stock and there's if there's not enough eyes, there's not enough eyes, right? Yeah, know. everyone's probably looking at be big. Be big. <laughs> well, to me, that that was a great um, alert. And Snapchat's kind of like in this limbo where it's like, oh. yeah, spread. Okay, there you go. There goes the spy. First little green candle. Now there's my my support four forty one eighty four. Went as low as four four two. Moderna coming back up. Hood. Hood gets interesting over 46, we said, from the game plan. <clears throat> Trying to add some liquidity. I'm being a good boy. I'm adding liquidity. Okay, got got filled, added liquidity. It filled you as the candle flipped from green to red, not red to green. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it, it, it wants to make sure, like, oh, we can't give Weenie that good of a price, can we? <laughs> yeah, really nice moves. Okay. <laughs> Tesla pump, yep. Okay, Fubo beyond coming short. down to one. Okay, ah, Fubo short did a daily breakdown. Yeah. Fubo? Yeah, you could. Yeah, underneath that 25. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's starting to come on underneath that 25. You could short Fubo, yep. Spy, though, just made a little breakout right over there from the lows, just reverse from the lows. So keep an eye out on that. Okay. Let's see what we've got over here. Disney's all over the place. Game plan video was really well done. Oh, thank you, Campbell. I really appreciate that. Here, should we check out? Oh, wait. Oh, here comes Hood. Hood. Is that, is that the move? Yeah, that is. Okay. So hood. Going long hood right here. We'll add over the highs. This is a little setup. 77s. Do, 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 do. Going to set the stop now. And then peel profits through the highs. Tight stop. Yeah, this one's one where it kind of needs to go right here on this candle. But the next candle just flipped red. So maybe it, maybe it's not meant to be. Hmm. Fubo short, daily breakdown. Okay. Yeah, the game plan is really well done. Thank you so much, Campbell. Here, let's check it out. Here. Yeah, you guys are asking about levels for these stocks that I broke down yesterday. Go check it out. There's beautiful timestamps. Here, I'm going to... Copy and send this on over. Okay. DNA starting to stop out. So th that one, that one was one I needed to take early. Yeah. And you know that <laughs> it's one of those things where it was a fine setup, but it's like, well, it just failed, failed, failed after getting in, you know? Hmm. But yeah, long DNA. Off the dip at 13, 1310, added over 1323, stop underneath 13, stop, hits. Dang. Oh, 
Uh, what's your next support for PLTR? Yep, so I, I just linked that video. You can go ahead and uh, check out PLTR from okay. the video. Yep, broken down very nicely over here. PLTR. Um, yeah, next support for PLTR, 2695. We'll see if that holds or not. Affirm, though, going beast mode. Affirm, this one was the one to, to keep. Nice, good move. Nice, nice, good move. So, okay, Hood, Hood not wanting to go either. Hmm. I will Hood. Now forty-five nine two. Okay, we'll give it the four nines now, but maybe that'll help you a little bit. Oof. And KHC. You still in it? Yeah, the, the one, the one with the least amount of size, just goes straight up. <laughs> nice, good move. I uh, got a Ford fourteen call for October fifteenth, and it's cooking. Nice. Yeah, Ford, what a beast. That's for sure. And good morning, Matthew. Oh, SQ, my number is 253. Low is 255.80. Google clapped on the day. Q's clapped. Mm -hmm. Spy could get rejected, so just watch out. Shopify, new lows. Microsoft coming into support. And Hood stopping out. So Hood... Instant reversal. Didn't want to. Didn't want to continue. It just broke down hood yesterday. Yeah, I mean, this is a good setup. But just it's me, your son. Hello, hello, hello. Peter, you be careful. D King. Should we check out DraftKings? D K N G. DraftKings. Wow, nice good dip and rip. Nice. Nice good move. How did our uh, bros end up doing? Did bros break down? Bros boat broke down. Very interesting. DNA came right back up. Very interesting. So that would have been a buy. That's like a previous breakout area, pre-market. Pre NVIDIA battling last place on your ticker chart. You hate to see it. Yeah, NVIDIA, we talked about, you know, not not super not super bullish, really, NVIDIA. And man, is this DNA going to go? Mm. Uh, no, I'd leave it, personally. Peter. Peter. Okay, DNA over... What thirteen twelve? And I I can't hesitate with this one. This one's got to go now. Instrument DNA not tradable. What? Why is it saying not tradable? That's weird. That's really weird. Huh? Let me buy DNA. Yeah, they just they just said no. You, you you're done with this. This is okay. There's the spy rejection. Vix, Vix jumped. Um, you're asking where should you reload this beyond short? Nowhere, if um, if you have to ask, but probably right here, right now, one eleven thirty three. In fact, I might join you in a put debit spread. So beyond buying the one ten, selling the one oh six. Yeah. Selling, yes, buying the 110, selling the 106. That's a good deal. Got filled a little bit late. And DNA, I'm going to move up my stop just underneath the low of the day. For some reason, it's not accepting my stop order. But, you know, whatever. Yeah, there's Hood dumping. So Hood, the tight stop was the way to go. The loose stop would have just been hit anyways. Did you keep your tight stop? 
Ja. Ja. It, it, it. Yeah, UAL, technical analysis, move higher, great consolidation. If we look at the daily time frame, UAL a little bit extended, but yeah, could could get going potentially. Yeah, UAL next area is 5129. Looks like it's in an uptrend and wants to continue. That's cool. A firm got as high as 128. Wow. Good stuff. Spy potentially trying to hold the higher low pivot. Financials on a tear today. Banks up. Banks are probably holding up the spy. Yeah, and tech stocks weak. Facebook drop. Bull pullback drop. Shopify. Could also be a little drop. It's interesting. Shopify drops $20 today. Google, Airbnb, Microsoft, Apple. We were looking for the short at 147. 146 was the high. AMD went as low as 103.44. Looking at the daily time frame for AMD, nothing too interesting. Amazon getting clapped today, or Netflix getting clapped today. Amazon getting clapped today. We talked about that drop into the 33.34 this morning. NVIDIA finding some support. NVIDIA could likely bounce off of that level. Dutch Bros looks like a bearish bear flag underneath the support, 5103. Moderna. Moderna, my number is 412. Moderna getting clapped today, down 3.5%. Rest in peace, Moderna. Lucid holding on. PLTR dip by here. Sample stuff asked. Let's check it out. So 26.95. 26.95 would be your dip buy on Palantir. Yeah, there she goes to the downside. Again, let her sell off. Let her flush. There's Tesla. We talked about 780. How high do you want it to go? 779.88? <laughs> There's Tesla. Nice, good move. Glad I took profits this morning on that pump. Oh. Snapchat is coming into that 80. Should have just shorted it. Lucid holding on. Is Lucid at that dip by spot? No. Lucid. Nice, good move. Spike the high. Now pulling back in. That could just go sideways. Lucid on the daily time frame. Yeah, more so just consolidation likely for Lucid. Yeah, there's Moderna going crazy. Uber. Good little morning move. Hood. 4519 is a better area to risk off of, but I don't know if it's worth risking off of now. Beyond might get one more pump, it seems. BBIG got volume, it's true. B big. Yeah, B big. Move higher, lower. There's the spy. Watch out, spy coming underneath the lows. Snap at or below 80. Oh, are we coming to the dip by snap? It's a Snapchat. Very nice move to the downside, back to the former breakout area. Spike the 80 Snapchat, spike it. Be big, this could be the reversal right here, right now as well. Got the reversal on be big, let's wait now. See if there's continuation. Targeting just the mid uh, 40s on the B big. Bull flag on JPM. New highs incoming. Yep, J financials are strong. JPM. 
Uh, be big. Right back down. Hmm. You gotta use your credit spreads. Yeah. Remember yeah, the credit spreads on the, the credit spreads on a firm are working very nicely, and a firm's just ripping. Snapchat though, the debit spreads, I was like trying to hold, let it go. Let it, I'm being nice and patient, waiting for the snap dip buy as well. Yeah, B big should get the. Oh, well, it doesn't have to do anything. That might have been it. That was it. That was that's the dip buy for snap. No. Give it to me. Oh, uh, see how quickly that goes right there. Seventy nine, eighty nine. Nice, good move on Snapchat. Die Snapchat for banning my account. What were you doing, Kobe? That they banned your account. Do 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 do. Be big. You waiting? Be big. big. Yeah, there's the spy breaking out. Nice, good move on the spy. Trying to trying to let Snapchat go a little bit more. Trying to be nice and patient with Snapchat over here. Should have more room to go. Yeah, right? My line right there. 79.82. I'm getting filled at 80.20. Which is always... Yeah. Be big. Will you post our stocks? Snapchat was probably sick of it. Gosh, sorry, I'm concentrating right now. This requires a lot of concentration. Be big, what a worthless stock. I should know not to trade this thing. <laughs> this thing, this thing's a scam. I just put money into. A scam. Stop going at the 19 on Be big. So be it. Maybe it doesn't. There's a chance. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Being nice and patient. Could take the money. Be big stopped out. What a worthless. Gosh. Hey, it's it's whatever. <laughs> And it's that's part of yeah, the risk of uh, that setup. That setup um, has been not as good. Yeah, so I'm gonna. It doesn't even deserve to be in the title over here. It's, Kobe thinks it would be a good swing trade. Be big. That's kind of no. tough to tell, though. No. Well, no. <laughs> Just, I, I mean, you can you can do whatever you want, but. Yeah, no, it, that, that should have taken liftoff at 729. That's the clear technical breakout. Kobe. And there's your flush. Booty picks get traction to an app. But stocks, maybe not so much. <laughs> okay, Ponchi's asking ZM dip buy? What do you mean? For what? A day trade swing trader investment. ZM's getting clapped. Destroyed. Murdered on the daily time frame. Uh, I, like I said, 235. Ever since ZM's from 400, 235 ZM. Check that out. Man, I thought Snapchat would go more. It did. It, it just <laughs> went to Snapchat. That was the first. That's R1. Uh... Give me the yeah. fill. No, got it. Okay, got got the partial on Snapchat. It's too bad though, because BBIG, I'm I was sized in more on than Snapchat, and BBIG was just uh, yeah sizing right there. Yeah, BBIG. You were trading like three hundred shares, but it's only seven dollars. You're trading like a hundred shares of Snapchat, and that's eighty dollars. That's true. Snapchat's not moving as much as BB. B Big's a short, by the way. That thing's probably going to zero. Shame on me for even <laughs> I'm trying to buy that one. Six 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 is the dip buy for B Big. Six six six. 
And Snapchat coming right back down. They see that stop order. They're like, you think you can just get away with that? There's the spy chopping around the right. This isn't a day traders market at all. And yeah, a firm going for it. A firm on this little pullback in came right underneath. Yeah, if we look at the five minute time frame, five minute looked fine. Five minute looked fine. Snapchat. Boy. Okay, well, Snapchat. That might be bearish. Yeah, yeah, that definitely is bearish when they. I, I do still like this area. It's. Is there a lot of demand in that area? It's my support level. What's up, Peter? He's like, pay attention to me. What? Peter? Come here. <clears throat> Come here, Peter. Come here. <clears throat> Why? What's going on? Do 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 do. Are we seriously about to dump, Bryce? And up, sorry, 327, uh, exit point, please. Um, I don't think you're ready to be trading if you're asking for entry and exit points, but uh, let me take a quick look after taking a partial here on Snapchat. I mean, it did a, it did a higher <laughs> low. Yep, exactly. But also a lower high. Yeah, I'm just trying to crank the Snapchat position, buying the dips, selling the rips, buy the dips, sell the rips. Targeting 80.74. Okay. Do, 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 do. There's a firm though, 129.63. Wow, so I need to hold the firm just a little bit longer. Huh. DNA went right back to the highs. She's talking about stocks. Okay. Uh, which, well, there, sorry, I'm so flustered. There's so many tickers. What is the next ticker in line, Bryce? Next ticker in line. UPST. Okay. Upstart is the next ticker in line. Affirm, this is a potential take profit spot, but uh, it's UPST. Upstart. Long at 327. Nice. And Where you're looking you for an exit? How much are you willing to risk? That's something you have to ask. And then what's your risk to reward? Um, I would say 318.57 is where you would want to stop out. That's an exit point. Otherwise, you wanted to be in it and as, for as long as possible, right? Otherwise, there's a short target at 336, like a short-term target, if, if that makes sense. Snapchat went. Tag the stop, Bryce. And then moved higher. Wait, how did it get the stop? I'm still in it, but the thing is that it's because I placed it. <laughs> That's why. Oh, I thought your stop was underneath that low wick. I moved it up to 80. Yeah. No, it's just petering upwards. But yeah, are we going to dump? On what? No. I don't know. I... Uh, <laughs> I put the zero command in because it, you said B big was probably going to zero. Yeah, I mean, I should know better than to to, to trade those things. You know, I assumed there would be a decent breakout, and there you go. It, it, it dumps. The tight stop was the way to go. You know, saved myself 4%. Against says patience is so important in trading waiting for sq to hit support and tesla hitting resistance has paid off nice yeah uh, sq my support is a little bit off i thought it was going to be 353 low is 355.80 though parker grumbles like my stomach grumbles <laughs> DNA at or above 1326. So DNA, I couldn't get back in. That one was the one to get back in. Very interesting. It wouldn't let you. 
Yeah, look, it's like it's like um canceled out. I'm gonna set an alert on Snapchat eighty point eighty eight because that's the resistance now. <laughs> do, 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 do. Um, I think yeah, SQ, AMD, good move. AMD is next. Okay, AMD is next. Let's check out AMD. Bear flag forming on the five minute. Yep, that's a bear flag, but it just broke bullish. Broke just broke to the bull side. And Snapchat, again, takes, takes the stop and then rips. Just goes straight higher. Now Snapchat completely free. I'm going to hold this one. Did I come out of, no, I did not. Okay. No, now Snapchat gets some legs. Snapchat's like, don't worry, I'll go now. And here comes DNA. I really wish I could uh, buy the stock. Can I not buy it? Why no. can I not buy this one? No, no. No, and there's new highs. Give me the uh, call option at least. Jeez. <laughs> Oh, Ponchi asks. Oh, now I can now I can move up the stop. Weird. Ponchi asks, A P O P looking good here for a day trade. Okay, so well, hold on, I haven't broken down AMD, have I? Did you? Um, yeah, AMD. For uh, here's the thing: Are we talking about day trades, swing trades, or investments? Are we talking about like like what what's what's our goals here? That's why I want specifics, because I'm going to break down AMD differently for a day trade versus a swing trade versus an investment. Short-term AMD resistance, 104.75. Tried to dip by AMD at 104. Stop, uh, stop hit with that lower wick. Nice, good little consolidation. If it comes back to that consolidation, could be good. Could be. Yeah, firm, really nice move. AMD... B big, yeah, B big, dumb. Okay, beyond, kind of creepy crawling. Oh, perfect. Coinbase down, DNA up. KHC, nothing, snap. 80.50, and then Tesla took the profits. Okay, cool. <laughs> Chill little uh, Monday morning, that's for sure. Lucid's on a bull run. Wow, well, yeah, AMD did. Yeah, I was looking for the dip buy in AMD and that, that, that punched the stop. But yeah, it's, it's going. The thing is, it's, by the time it's going, you're too late. And that's why I'm buying Snapchat right on my red line. Yeah, and then... But even then, you know, now that I think about it, okay, I'm taking profits too early. And there comes DNA as well. It's because you... Wouldn't let me buy the shares. It it's seems so weird. like the majority of your trade you're sitting in like, is whipping up and down yeah there's then, the clean breakout though and then after it's done the kind of sideways consolidation at your buy level i know then it goes but yeah, then at that point you like i've been sitting through it chopping around i'm just gonna take my profits i know i sit, i sit for like 20 minutes in consolidation <laughs> getting tossed like a rag doll parker how you doing? Again, targeting about the 15 level potentially on DNA. If we're looking at the daily time frame, 1425 is that next resistance. What's a better company, PLTR or B Big? PLTR. Probably PLTR. <laughs> Without a doubt. Is B Big even a company? <laughs> Then look at that snap dump. Oh, the Snapchat said, I want the lows. Wow, look at that candle right there, Bryce. That's why we scale out, because of um, bull crap like that. Just, uh, just let's all, all jump profits. ship. <laughs> no, they, they punched that stop. The 80. Wow. Oh, 1% pullback in one minute. Or they pun it that <laughs> yeah, it's very interesting. 
I think the way to go is the is the debit spreads though. The debit spreads, the credit spreads. Yep. They won't come and get you. So DNA was the move today. That was one of the trade setups in the pre-market. Okay, go AMD go. Nice. So yeah, Snapchat. Snapchat pierces the stop and then goes higher. Hmm. It goes higher, but then also goes back down. <clears throat> With people shortening. Yeah. AMD mark at or above 10476. Wow. Amazing move on AMD. That's awesome. Parker, are you leaving already? Man, this uh, call option isn't getting much traction. Had I grabbed the shares, Bryce, at that level of 13.10, which I was trying to do. What's up, Parker? He's trying to leave. Oh, let him leave. This is a free country. You want to go, Parker? Do you mm -hmm. need help getting down? Do you want some help? Oh, oh, Greg, what is Snap doing? Snap, um, yeah, I bought the dip at 80, got a small partial at 80.57, now coming on down. Down 4% on the day. Clap. So yeah, 79 is that next level of support for Snapchat. Oh, Parker just hissed at Peter. Peter's just peacefully, oh, he's going to go get him. Peter's chasing Parker now. Cat fight. Except it's not really a fight. Is that a baby? No. He's kind of like a baby, though. Boeing 228. I feel like that's a short right up there. But there's the spy. Going on a tear. DNA try... Yep. <laughs> Can I get filled here on DNA now? That would be great. That was actually the original target though on DNA with 1346. So see how see how I'm just being a little bit off, not getting it there, and instead getting it here makes the whole world the difference in the trade. Has at any point of hesitation you skew your risk to reward heavily. Yeah. Yeah, Razor says NAS long. NAS? Should we check out NAS? <clears throat> That does not show up. It's not showing up, Freighter. Upstart Double is going beast mode. Rest of the stock's pooping. Double check yeah. your ticker. Yeah, Upstart, beautiful move. Beastin'. I love it, I love it, I love it. Coin still breaking down. Coin, that's a bearish formation. That's a breakdown setup. Volatility, volatility is on the high side right now, so I wouldn't recommend buying options at the moment. It says, yeah, yeah. When volatility is high, when the VIX is high, option premiums tend to go up. While when volatility is low, option premiums tend to be small. Where's Moose? I don't know. Do you know where Moose is? No, I do not, Bryce. <laughs> Maybe he's at work. Tied up, doing something. Okay, here we go. This should be the DNA move right here. Let's see, we got the spy doing the deed. And Snapchat, pierce that, punch that low. Hmm. We love you all. Or do I go with DNA? DNA looks better than uh, Snapchat. I'll let it go with one more low. Coinbase also short also looks great right there. Let's put. I'll I'll do a. Don't you have one? I do. Yes, as a hedge, but it's a small one. Free Honda Moose. Yeah, let's call up his employer. Be like, he needs to come home. <laughs>
So long DNA looking for a move higher. Stop beneath 1324. Do, 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 do. Free Honda Moose. What pro VIX price do you use as a marker for option buying? Great question. A lot of people use $20 as the mark. Um, I would say you get a good deal on buying your options if you get a VIX at 13 or 14. That's been rare though. VIX 13, 14. Hey, Weenie, thanks to your analysis, I was able to dip by the SPY with two-week ex options ex expiring 442.50, paid 4.73 for each. Now printing over five? No way. Nice. Feels like a good deal to you today? That's awesome. That's absolutely amazing. Congratulations, Andrew Ditter. Yeah, we've seen VIX 13, 14 twice this year. It used to always hang out in the 13s and 14s. A firm, 130. Wow, that was the long strike that I had. Very interesting. This morning, at least. The firm didn't look like it wanted to go. Still holding DNA right here. But that's a, that's a little reversal right there. That's why you're not buying leaps until next year. Thank you, Weenie. You're great at being non-emotional and technical. Keep it up. I just need to translate it to my trading. I think I'm being late and missing my entries and exits. I, I'm scrambling everywhere. And it's like, okay, uh, I'm still struggling in my own trading, but I'm glad that you guys can make some good money off the analysis. But man, yeah, just things just work the weirdest way sometimes. Watch for Apple roll if the cues don't get going. Oh, yeah, certainly, certainly, certainly. Not emotional. Did you watch last week? So many things tripped your weekly or daily setups down this morning. The bounce is frustrating. It's a weird bounce, that's for sure. This bounce on the market. So, yeah, SPY, next resistance, 44438. We identified the 442 support today, right? 442. And boy, DNA, not meant to be, huh? <laughs> it's like it ran out of buyers. But that was the original target, 1346. So if the new entry is 1333, yeah, it makes sense. Let's see how it reacts at the former breakout area. Baba, though. Good move on the day, up 1%. I like it. Google went right back to the highs. 2800 was the dip buy on Google. See, if you watch Google coincide with your SPY levels, you grab a call option, boom. Only two red trades all, my, all month. Enjoy a Snickers. Oh, shout out to McNarls. Only two red trades. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Shout out to McNarls. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Wow, two red trades all month? Nice. How many how many uh, trades have you taken this month? Have you taken a lot of trades or nah? Okay. Weenie Dats is coming back from last week's moves. About to touch the previous highs from Friday. Interesting on Dats. D-A-T-S. Should we check it out? D-A-T-S. Yeah, interesting move. Andrew Ditter. Yeah, uh, it looks bullish to me. Uh, the daily chart. Uh, nice, good move. Beautiful breakout over 878. And I should have went with the tight stop on DNA. I wanted to give it the space. The move was earlier. 
not later. Do I know Gabby Patillo? No, I do not. You worked on getting in your levels? That's awesome. That's awesome, McNarls. No, and that's okay. That the, uh, the we're not, we don't want to take a lot of trades usually. We want to have the be patient and wait. But the, the, it depends on what type of setups you like. But yeah, Dats looks good. 11.86. Buy custom with stop. Right over here, 11.86, 10.87. Yeah, that's a good one right there, Dats. And, ah, uh, okay, so in on Dats, apparently, right there. Nice, good move. And DNA, literally. And it's, it's, okay, here we go. This will be the last entry point for DNA. 18. 16. I've got 500 shares of this lovely, lovely stock. Fifteen. Give it the fifteen level. There comes uh, Dats, still holding. Buy a custom with stop, and then a trail stop of 10 cents. Okay, good. Give me the give me the trail stop. Go, Dats. Beautiful move. 1219, the next resistance. Let's see if that can hold or not. Let's go. There we go. Beautiful. 12. Broke the 12. Excellent. Trying to hold for the breakout, being nice and patient. Nice and patient, there we go, 12, 12, okay. Facebook refuses to give up for real. Oh yeah, it's a good stock. There we go, 1207, holding still, holding. Uh, took some profits, 1198 was the fill. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, there's. Done for the day. Nice, Aaron. That's awesome. Hey, thank you guys for hanging out. I appreciate it. Hope you're all doing well. For those of you that like selling calls, cover calls, you like KO. I like KO as well. Coke. Be going through the wiggle on dats. Gonna let this candle close. Trying to add liquidity as well to DNA. And dats. Came right back in. Did not get the pre-market high break of the prior day. HLBZ at or below 1787. Very nice. So again, Bryce, look at this. Beautiful flag. Breaks out. Snaps back in. If you couldn't get it on the way out, you can get it on the way back in. You'd want it to hold above 1194, though. Oh, I... It didn't quite. Um... Mm -hmm. DNA um, as well, Bryce. This one was one that really got me where it, I wanted it at the 1311, tried to get it at the 1311, end up getting it at 1337, and then it snaps back in. Penny stock's not holding up today. Yeah. It's, it's a choppy environment. Back forth, back forth. Let's see what we can get. I noticed you've 
you're trading more penny stocks recently. Whereas a couple months ago, you wouldn't touch them. What has changed? I'm getting stopped out on the large caps way too much. And the penny stocks are at least having follow through, at least decently. As long as you're watching them ahead of time, they're getting follow through. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't touch them, but I mean, I, I have stops in place. They may not be the, I don't know if they are or aren't the best. It, it, it's tricky because it's nice when they go and they just go, but you have to really, you just have to be watching them. And I guess I'm choosing four or five charts, four charts. I need to get another monitor, another monitor maybe. Oh, I can um, evaluate everything. Oh, I, they just missed my um, take profit target on DNA. Oh, they might come get it now. Yeah, I'm trying to be nice and patient. Patient with the winners. Impatient with the losers. Yes, be patient with your winners. Oh, no, that was the move. It missed it by a penny. Hmm. Odd. Mm. Yes, be a decent human being and hit that like button for my favorite stream. Oh, that's Thanks. awesome. <laughs> yeah, how are you doing this morning, Bryce? What are you up to today? Today? Yep. Uh, hanging out here at the stream, chatting with the chat. I'm currently eating toast with an egg. Um, we're going to swim. Oh, yeah. Midday. Come back for the afternoon stream. And then I coach in the afternoon. Nice. And that'll be the day. MRNA looks prime for a breakout over 500 near earnings based on the daily dip by at 408 possibly. Which one is this? MRNA. Moderna. Mm-hmm. Uh, my number was 412. The problem was is we, we've we gotten close to 412, but not, didn't hit it. And man, Dats, I don't know why I'm holding this one for so long, expecting that breakout. There's no volume and momentum. So to recap this trade, get in at 1184, entered in late at 1194, get the fill at 12, holding the second piece, but holding the second piece is, yeah. What's up, Peter? Beyond trying to roll over. Yeah. Probably already did. Trying to roll over. No! It missed my take profit. Again. No! By one penny. Why? <laughs> Cruel world. Okay, there you go, Peter. Move. Uh, Peter. Okay, 29. And there's the spy breaking upside. No. <laughs> That's a little pop. Yeah, I mean, beyond just trying to roll over to 112 is that resistance. Still short beyond with that vertical spread. DNA missing my profit target by a penny. <laughs> mm. Bros recovered from the lows. That's a nasty one. Broke the low, snap back higher. Or maybe it's just it's just a consolidation type of market. Should just look at the hourly time frame for everything. Just check out the hourly. Good morning, Goo. And Beyond could be putting in an outside day, <clears throat> having barely broke Friday's low and no more than 50% retraced Friday's high. Could be looking at 112.80 from Beyond. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. I, I completely agree with that. It beyond, yeah, yeah, 112.80. Yeah, I agree. I totally could uh, see that today. Oof. 
We got bros 53 20s and still going. Wow. What a recovery that one had. Straight into a hammer candle. Again, trying to hold strong on these stocks, but... Uh. DNA, is that like a bear flag? Kind of? Not really. Yeah, it is. It is. It, it, it's, it's a bear flag where my profit target is 1329. The wick goes up to 1329, but doesn't hit. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, um, you're having a great trading day. Nice job, Kathy. That's awesome. And so is Pancake. We need BBIG dead cat or more room to the upside. BBIG is, you know, I, I'm going to have, um, shouldn't really have feelings about the stock, but this is, this BBIG, I, I've consistently cannot, um, get it it's a double bottom so far at seven but that double bottom could break to the downside that's the thing gosh dats is gonna break that support hmm yeah and it's like at that point in time it's like i should just punch the flatten button not even uh not even look at it credit spreads on better stocks <clears throat> like what? I don't know. Apple slowly get, getting to opening range. Be careful, ladies and gents. Mm-hmm. Exactly. It's great to hear about good trading days. Keep going. Keep learning. Keep training. Practicing. There's a bull flag on the hourly on B big. Bull flag on the hourly on B big? I, I, I don't think so. It's a bull flag um, at a lower high pivot, so it's in front of resistance. So that's just something to think about. So just be careful. Tesla approaching 780 again. Tesla to 800. Is Tesla approaching 780? It's at us above 780. Ah, Tesla. What a beast. So Tesla. Wow. What a great wedge break right over there. Wow. Awesome stuff. Dats held support as well. You were about to flatten. Well, I have the stop in place for a reason in case <laughs> it just does some random shenanigans. I mean, me personally, it's like, well, I see the stock do that. I wouldn't be buying it, but hey, if other people want to buy it after that, that's fine. Q's, Shopify, a wedge pattern. Shopify, probably a short. Coin is doing that same move. But yeah, should we check out B Big? I should not have it in the title if I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah, B Big breaking support. Launch that to come down to 666 area. It's still holding Snapchat. Snapchat kind of bull flagging. Mm hmm. Kind of. Let's go. DNA, go. Mm. You know, if DNA rips to that 15 price, I will make a grand. So I'm putting myself in these positions where I can make good money. It's just, will the, the stock, stock behave? To, will people be interested enough in the stock? To push it to where you need it to be. Yes, indeed. Let's 
CPOP and APOP to the moon? <clears throat> Are they going to the moon, Albert? No, nothing there. No, no, not going to the moon. And then APOP. No, 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 that's a <laughs> tricky one. They're not quite there, Albert. <laughs> Man, Snapchat. Getting clapped. DNA at or above 30? Okay, give me the fill, please. I'm literally sitting here. It's okay. Just patiently waiting. Patiently waiting. No. Oh. oh. 1330. Thank you. Thank you. Snapchat you... went and cleared that stop. Now moving higher. Did you get an option on DNA? Yeah, I have an option and 500 shares. I'm trying to give it the space that it needs. Tesla? Yeah, that 780s is big going to be a big bull bear battle probably. And there's a there's a little flag set up right there. 778 could be risked off of. Snapchat though, that's It's in a downtrend. Yeah, but it's yeah. A it's just weird. Yeah, usually usually um when you come back mm -hmm. to support though. And there's Tesla new daily highs. Wow, what a beast. I love it. Apple reversal on the five minute. AAPL, Apple. Yeah, that's a, that's a little reversal. I could probably get up to the 147s. We'll see though, give it time. Giving it time, I should say. Coin, dats, DNA, KHC. Dats, what is this one doing? What a weirdo, what a goofball. Where's your take profit? <clears throat> Past 1220, that was my target. High was 1207, that's why I took a half off. So as you can see, I made $10 on it, but it's underneath the entry. Okay. Hmm. I ran A down 6%, I know, it's, a, it's clappage. SQ struggling right now under 260. Yeah, should we check out SQ? Yeah, SQ, that's probably a bearish setup. I wouldn't short it, but you could. All right, DNA. Bad. I mean, Dats is hanging out pretty high up there. Yep, which is good. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for places to potentially raise the stop. Same with uh, uh, DNA. Now DNA's... Well, was starting to get some legs. 13.32 was the high right up there. What? Okay. What is Beyond going to do today, this week? Um, I, I can't predict the future. I wish I could. Uh, what is it going to do? Well, it just broke those highs. So, uh, it could go higher. Beyond's one of my favorite candidates to... You know, short and use it as a hedge. Use that short as a hedge. But yeah, it, uh, you could let it get extended. It's probably going to just chop around, flop around, go sideways to slightly higher, short term. Breakdown candle high is 113. So it'd be weird if Beyond starts going much above 113. No mm. DNA. There goes that. I know. Is that a trigger point? Go, Dats, go. Nah, I'm just gonna hold it. I think it needs to hold above that line you've got. Yeah, I agree. Neo ripped. Nice, Chiamu. Nice. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, Neo 3440 comes back. Yeah, dip, rip. Nice, good move on Neo. I love it. Dats is trying to hold up while DNA, uh, that was the resistance. Oh. What? Here, Bryce, can I sit down? I need to rest me legs. Um, okay. I'll trade you. 
What, standing or sitting? When I was well, there's the uh, the rocking chair. Pull up the rocking chair. If you wish. Okay. Do, 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 do. Yeah, the rocking chair is too hard to maneuver. These little wooden chairs are much better. Peter. Peter looks mad. I don't know why. Peter. MRNA for an investment? Goo. Oh, I'd say you're a little bit late for an investment. MRNA is kind of a trading stock. I mean, you could invest in it. It's probably going to be a lot higher. No guarantees, though. DNA held the stop. <laughs> Check out VRPX. Microfloat that got hammered recently because of offering... Squeezing now. Yeah, first green day after many red days. It could get going. I would I would uh, be careful, though. I mean, stocks had a horrible track record. You know, dumps from 36. There's going to be a lot of people that are going to want to get out of this thing that might not be able to. That's so sad. And uh, Or they'll, they'll be losing today to get out of that, if that makes sense. They'll be losing today to get out. Oh, excellent. DNA actually getting some legs. Let's go. Looking for new highs on DNA. Unless I'm being greedy, but I'm looking for new highs. We think it can get up there. Yep, there you go. 34s. <clears throat> There's VRPX, though. Beautiful little ascending triangle over 5.30. It, it's, it's too late, though. Again, we want to be buying stocks in their consolidations. Like... Watch, if DNA rips, everybody's going to be saying DNA ripping. Ooh. And but that's that's the time where I'm where I'm in from consolidation. That's where I'm going to be taking some profits if that makes some sense. That makes some sense. Trying to add some liquidity here. And Dats is bull flagging <laughs> as well. MGM. My, de oh. My 17 December, 45 straight calls on MGM for my entry on Thursday are now printing 420. Ooh. Paid only 358 for these leaps. I like the short, the sports book app in some states for sports betting. And that's MGM? I guess so. Yeah, MGM. Up on the day. We talked about, we've been talking about this one for quite a while. Breaking it down. Mm -hmm. There's your new highs. 46. Here comes DNA. It'll give me one more liquidity push. Going to take another partial, then trail tightly. And that'll be a good trade. Trade of the day. DNA. Holding. 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 Checking the level two. Double checking the level two. 40s are on the bid. 40s are on the bid. No red flags. No red flags. 40s on the bid. 44s on the ask. Yes, waiting. Do, 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 do. Peter. Peter. Break it out. We're all waiting. Bids stepping up to 41s. Bids step up to 43s. Bids step up to 44s. Ask step back to 47s. Just what you want to see. There we go. Yay. New highs. Take a little bit of a partial up there. Beautiful. Now trail it and let it go. DNA. Mm, it's okay, DNA. You can, you can, you can go off now. If you've, you've popped to the high of the day. What do you mm -hmm. think about grabbing some AMD here for a two week to a month long hold? Two week to a <laughs> month. That's too short of a time frame, I'd say, at this price. But you, you could, yeah. 
I, I would say it's probably still going to work. Got five DNA at four eight as I'm sitting here on the ask. Got four can I get four six? Four four? No, okay. Four nines. Hmm. Tech getting the ugly sick beat down today. Tesla at 780 a short. Dats stopped out. Dats. No, Dats. Yeah, literally could have taken break even, but it wanted to. It, it gapped. Yeah, it just kind of gapped down and hit the stop. That's weird. Okay, what what was the next one? Uh, te is it Tesla at 780 a short? Do you hate money? Do you hate money? If you hate money, Tesla at 780 is a short. Try 790. Try 790 for Tesla. That might be a little bit better on you. 790. Or maybe 800, or maybe a break through 800 and a failure of 800. You'd want, you'd, you'd want to um, bully up, you want to bully a weaker kid on the block. I know uh, Tesla's the, the big kid on the block, the strongest one. And there goes uh there goes uh DNA right back down. Mm -hmm. What's next, Bryce? What's my next stock to break down? A firm making moves right now. Check out Macy's too. Yep, a firm. Didn't talk about being long a firm. I was saying 118 is the dip buy. I actually took profits on a firm today. Kind of goofy, huh? And there's Tesla just ripping. Tesla beast mode, 784. Wow. Remind me to keep Tesla on watch. I was looking for the dip buy. They said, no, you ain't getting the dip buy, weenie. And there's AMD, 106. Wow. <laughs> so I have the right idea, but boy, they uh, they really want to punch, punch it in. Babas, SPCE, IWM, GME. GME going up. That's weird. But then again, it's normal. That's weird. Man, AMD, yeah. So AMD this morning went long at 104. Stop hit just underneath 103.70. Low a day is 103.40. So 30 cents from the low. At least it wasn't the low wick. So I'm not going to complain. Complaining doesn't do even do anything. This It's the psychological complaining that um, is, is rough, not the monetary. But anyways, AMD, yeah, beautiful move higher off of that dip. Just ripping. And this is one where, you know, trailing up your stop, you know, bar by bar, that's kind of the way to go. Um, hello, your thoughts on ASTS short term. Thanks. ASTS? Yes. ASTS, short term. Great move on the day. Stock is a winner, up 6% today. Okay, daily chart. Not horrible, not great. I, I would actually give the daily chart like a C minus. Maybe a D. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, ASTS has resistance at 1255. So if you think the extra 20 cents of wiggle room it has is worth it, be my guest. Otherwise, 1287 is the next area of resistance, 12.87. And there's Tesla, still just beast moding. Tesla's like, don't worry, I've got us. We'll just, we'll, we'll just go up each and every hour, each and every minute. Brader said, have you ever quit your job on spot? I did today. Somehow it feels good. Congratulations, Freighter. Hopefully you got out of a, a bad situation then. Yeah, what happened with Freighter? Quit, quit his job on the spot. Oh, wow. Just now? Today. Today? No way. Freighter. Two interviews tomorrow. Wow. 
Sam count has come in and says GME. Do you have any thoughts on GME for Sam? GME, short term in an uptrend. Um, I would say that GME, it's only a matter of time before it potentially breaks down. 185, 184. In a mass market sell-off, GME and AMC might be one of the first ones to go. That's just a theory. There's no actual hard evidence. But um, it, it, I, I would say GME and AMC, you're buying a ton of risk up here. I mean, I, I think it's a stone-cold short up here with duration, with, you know, bear call credit spreads. You know, defined risk shorting up here. Um, I, 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 I enjoy... I, 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 um, Respect you if you're part of Ape Nation. That's completely fine. You can do whatever you want. But um, just understand that we've already had the squeezes. So now we've already had the squeezes. Once momentum and hype die off, that's where the stocks just slowly bleed off and zigzag into nothing. Of course, GME could squeeze. That's the less likely scenario, though. So go based off the probabilities, probably. And then Tesla still pressing new daily highs, 784.50. What a beast. Yeah, Microsoft, um, like we said, Microsoft not ex expected to go much lower than 195, not expected to go much higher than 300. It's got what we've done exactly today. PLTR, when is low is 27.23. My number is 2690s, just that low 27. Okay, and now we've got a bunch of people coming in talking about interior design. And I think it's all the same person. We've got Don't Be Shy. Uh, <laughs> don't give them attention if it's not um, real. Y'all, we're here for stocks, not interior design. <laughs> I don't care if a tool to take out the tile looks so helpful. I do. <clears throat> What's the difference between your two channels? That's it. This channel is all for live stuff. And then the LLC channel is all for um, technical analysis, pre recorded. We got game plans, trading recaps, lessons, trading lessons. No way, Dats. No, Dats Bryce literally spiked my stop and then right, ripped. Your target. No way. Oh, yeah. Jeez. What is with this? Is that the move though? No. 12.04. Can the bid save me? Save me on the bid. Uh, 12.05, Phil. 12.07. Give it. 12.20s is the target. Just the, into the 12.20s. That's all, that. There we go. Into the 12.20. Beautiful. Whoa! Okay, I guess that's came all the way out on that move. Gosh, that's frustrating. It's 11. Yeah. Four pennies too tight? Maybe I just need to just do looser stops. Just accept the risk a little bit more. Affirm, kind of rolling over. Coin dots, hood, DNA. KHC, snap. Snapchat, oh. So Snapchat was the move today, Bryce, from that 80. Yeah. They just spiked the stop, though. It's beyond bull flagging. Uh, B Y N D. Uh, yes, but it's a trashy, weak one. Yeah, sure, it could break out over that level. B 
But yeah, Dat's really nice move into the 1230s. If you have a SL anywhere near current price, the algo bots will find it. That's true. Yeah. That's true. It, it's it's off. Um, it, it's um, and that's the thing too. But the thing is, it's like okay, if I put it super far away, my risk is so much more. And when my risk is so much more, it's like okay, well, um, is it? A, 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 and then it goes back to the question. Okay, then yeah, maybe the trade just isn't worth it because the stop loss has to be so wide. But yeah, really, the the wick on that low. Yeah, and there's the beyond bull flag popping right there. Snapchat hit the double, double pierce the stop, 80.57. Again, I was going long on Snapchat at 80, stop at 79.70. 30 cents of risk, stop, low was 79.68. And there's beyond with the little, little flag pop. Apparently AMD is going crazy. Yeah, I know AMD is going crazy. You can't look at it though, that's the thing. Like AMD is 107, I know. I, uh, what? There's a reason I was looking to dip by AMD at the 104 level price. But I, I, the, I mean, th that's the thing. You don't want to be, you, you can chase, you can do it. It's breaking out on the daily time frame decisively now. So AMD, next area of resistance is 108.95. So you have $2 of wiggle room. You have 1.68% of upside, and then to the nearest support level, you have 1.55% of downside. It's exactly a 50-50. Now, of course, in that 50-50, I'd assume that AMD is more likely to go up than it is to the downside. But the risk-reward is skewed now, now that um, everybody's talking about AMD now. Yeah, so potentially AMD could be a longer term hold if you wanted, according to the daily. Yes. And DNA survived the stop. Look at that squeeze right there. 1.26%, nothing too crazy. Again, looking for tar past 14 on DNA potentially. If not today, maybe another day. Well, um, <laughs> but yeah, if you're a bot, um, you, you, you at least got to subscribe if you're a bot, <laughs> you know? Okay. DNA new high of the day. Great stuff. Now I'm going to trail this one. Now that the volume's coming on in. Yes. If you're a bot on here, as long as you're subscribed, we don't care. We won't put you in. <laughs> <laughs> we don't care. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, 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 I do have a pretty big distaste for bots like, and oh my scammers. God. Who said that your son's name is Liam? <laughs> no one. Yeah, said just keep reporting them. Stop. <laughs> Unwanted commercial content or spam? Do you guys know how much I do that each and every day? By the way, remove um, spam. Like they're, they're, they're like, you have a gift. Please continue showing your renovations. They are awesome. You're in the wrong chat, bot. Wrong chat. Wrong chat. <laughs> Dave goes is like, I am bot. I like and subscribe. Me think everyone should do the same. Beep boop. Beep boop bop. <laughs> And uh, everybody, we do have pool time scheduled. We do have a swim meet this weekend. So we are going to um, be swimming in about one hour. DNA is ripping here. I'm glad I stuck with this one. This one's definitely the, uh, the one that, th that'll have some good follow through. Tesla's printing that 785. Good stuff. But yeah, we do have pool time at 11.10. Mm. Where's the mods to swing the ban, ban hammer? Um, I'm I'm banning a lot. Frack, man. 
At least make the bots put in oh. some view time on normal videos. Trying to get this DNA spewing right now. Spew for me, DNA. They just keep coming. Mm -hmm. Get out of here. After all of that trading though, Bryce, literally just like a break even day. I mean, Snapchat the gap do your down. Options trading. I know. You told me to remind you. I've been reminding you today. The, uh, it's ironic though. The, the options trading has not been working today. The, what, uh, do you have options today? Yeah. I told you I shorted beyond, right? Shorted beyond? Beyond just kind of slowly grinding higher. I didn't know you shorted beyond. I know. It was more so as a hedge while the spy was being really weird. But now it's like, okay, I kind of just want to flip this out. But the thing is, it's a phenomenal risk to reward. 110 by 106. It's a $400 max credit. It costs $100. I think it's a good deal. How long do you have it for? This week. But the thing is, beyond, we talked about that bull flag, 112. It's like, okay, it's more likely to go up from there. So maybe do I just cut out? And there goes AMD, 108, 107.79. What a beast. And still going, 107.79. You don't have to look at it. Ponchi wants you to look at our cat, though. Okay, which one is it? Yeah, look, this this debit spread on AMD just barely just flipped green. Could have bought this for $68. Okay, but which one's the, the, the stock? What's the next stock on the list, Bryce? R-C-A-T. R-C-A-T. Does it look like it'll break out? New high of day. Yeah, it looks like it will. Pump okay. and dump, though. Pump and dump. Shenanigans. I'd be careful. That's it asks, should we day trade MGM? If you have to ask Why? if you should day trade something, you should not. So no. But you could. You can do whatever you want. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm just um here to help you out. The Tough girlfriend list. trade police that will save an account. <laughs> I know, right, Chris? <laughs> but it could also hold an account back. Yeah, I can also hold an account back. The thing is, there's in the, trading is all about finding the balance of pressing your risk and scaling back. And there goes Beyond. Yeah, Beyond's just ripping. So is Tesla. Yeah, so is Tesla. I mean, Tesla, I, the, it does no good to to watch it. I mean, there the only entry was that flag break right there, that wedge break, 775. Beautiful move, though, because steady uptrend. I can't complain. If Beyond comes above 112.80, I will just take, come out. <clears throat> yeah, Google, even. The Q's ripping. Um, we identified the low of the day on SPY, 441.86. Andrew Ditter says, Etsy, my trades, higher risk, spicy idea. Etsy, October 8th, 2021, 225 call. Uh, near five dollars. More conservative idea. Etsy October fifteenth, twenty twenty one, two ten call. Near yeah. Sixteen dollars. Yeah, a two ten strike call. Yeah, there's a seventy percent chance that it's gonna close in the money. There's only a fifty seven percent chance that we even touch two ten. Spreads are wide though. You're paying about a hundred dollars to get in at least. And a hundred dollars to get out, so you'd need at least the extra two points past that. But yeah, I like that because you don't need much to break even when you're that deep in the money. You don't need much to break even. And boy, Tesla, what a beast today! Awesome, still going. Gosh, and it's so tricky because it's like, okay, Tesla, you don't want to chase because it's already done a big run up, and then 
Oh, I was just looking for a little bit lower prices, 765. Maybe I was too greedy looking for those lower prices. But nonetheless, Tesla, I mean, a lot of people might be building some bad habits. There's a nice, there's an okay consolidation break at 785. 790 is the next target and 800. 790 and 800. Imagine someday physical robots roll into your office meeting dressed as clowns and start talking BS um, for competitors' commercials. So happy to be 100% Tesla. <laughs> CLNE, should we check out CLNE? CLNE. Clean energy. That's a good move on the day. Wow. CLNE? Yeah, it looks good. I mean, I'd like a pullback now, but uh, 8.64 seems to be the next area of support. 8.64. And still holding DNA. Has not tagged out yet. Beyond, I'm just going to place a stop order right here at 0.67. Even though it's like, mm. a firm just missed my take profit just by a little bit. Oh, that or just distracted. And look at that stop held them beyond so far. Your short stop? I appreciate all the bots coming in and giving me credit for doing a renovation that I've never done. Oh, this is absolutely amazing. I think Kurt is a bot too, but <coughs> Kurt hasn't said anything about renovation, so. <laughs> I'm just going to assume, Furt, that you said, OMG, this is absolutely amazing about the channel. <laughs> just the channel in general. It's funny because they're trying mm. to adapt. The, they uh, changed their name to Robin Hood. <laughs> <laughs> They're evolving. <laughs> the bots are evolving. Yeah, AMD could come mm -hmm. back just as hard a little bit. That's why I say you don't want to be oogling it up there. Let it pull back, and then you can get a safer entry point. Isn't all the chat good for the algo? Probably. Would it show on... It would show up higher on the recommended page because there's more people chatting in the in the live stream financials bullish consolidation financials are going to pump up that spy coin short break below 228 Ooh, coin yeah you could i would say coin short underneath 229.88 229 by 231, two point stop, four point target. And there's DNA new high. So shame on me for even coming out a little bit early on this one, but yeah, nice, good move. <clears throat> I'm trying to get this option contract to fail. Literally the option contract has not moved a dime, Bryce. <laughs> and DNA is just blasting upward. Yeah, I'm just going to trail it underneath the bid. 5-4 is the next trail stop. Ponchi, I read the comments and honestly thought they were for real. I was like, Weenie renovated his bathroom? What did I miss? Discord? <laughs> ja, ja, ja. <clears throat> Bought back my AMD short put on this breakout. Oh, nice. Keep rowing, NVIDIA. You've battled so hard today. Was that the low of the week? Uh, 214. We talked about 214 <laughs> being the, the downside dip by area. Go watch yesterday's video on NVIDIA. Go check that out. 214. Now I'm going to trail underneath the bid. Stop going up to 5.6 now on DNA. This one's a slow cooker. Just put them in the in the crock pot. <laughs> you know you've made it when you get a bot who replies to all your comments with a WhatsApp link. Oh, 
<laughs> Scammers, the evilest of them all. Here we go, 5'7". Five, 5'7", seven. Five, seven, five, six, five, eight on the bid. 5'7 now on the stop. Beautiful move, DNA. Now give me a fill. Is it that hard? It's okay. Don't be shy. 6'3". Hey, or Dee Dee says, I am impressed that you are only 22. Great job, young man. Gives the teacher hope. I'm 23, Dee Dee. And I'm sorry if I didn't renovate your house, but I didn't renovate your house. The so Time 12 loves the mosaic on the floor. Thanks, the Time 12. Talking Bread says biotech is ripping. World above, great job. You are a plumber, electrician, and decorator. <laughs> I am none of those three things. <laughs> he kicked ass on this renovation. Great work. Thanks. Actually, is this is this just hilarious or something or what? Like, like I was planning to remodel my small bathroom, but after <laughs> I saw your video, it is a lot of work and time. You did an excellent job. Congratulations, bro. You are the best. Thanks, common man. Again, you might be on the wrong channel. <laughs> You might be out confusing me with somebody else. Snapchat. Spy, too. Can we get the squeeze on DNA? Oh my goodness. What kind of eggs do we eat up there? Oh, we eat, we, we try to get the free range <laughs> eggs whenever we can, just because there's a little bit more vitamins in it, but we eat all eggs. All I, fresh eggs, raw, uh, as in like fresh from the chickens, fresh from the grocery store. I eat all kinds of eggs. DNA still cooking on the day. This one was the trade to be holding all day. Relatively easy to old slow mover sunny bought the dip on nvidia at 213.6 today but i need more for my calls to cook yeah, just be careful you don't want to get too greedy there's dna starting to really get some parab parabolic runs give me the fill what if this this chat thing though what if they are real people if they are real but people. But it's like a, a glitch in the YouTube system. Maybe it, maybe there is Liam out there live streaming right now. <laughs> but <laughs> maybe. But we're getting some of his comments in our chat. <clears throat> just egg is good. DNA is still just pumping, Bryce. <clears throat> 500 shares from 13 <clears throat> would have netted 500 bucks by now. Oh, wow. Six nines is the new stop. This has just been a slow cooking trail stop all day. Oh, Beyond stopped out, it looks like. So Beyond wants to go higher now. Now they're speaking in another language. Also, thanks for the video on proper grooming for your pet mongoose. Mm, <laughs> my pet mongoose. Ah, uh, yes. Our mongoose. Peter, the mongoose. This is ridiculous. I'm guessing with all these new skills, Weenie slept at a Holiday Inn Express last night. I know, right? It's 
So Snapchat did not need to stop out near the lows. I think I need to give my consolidations just a little bit more time. Nonetheless, nice good move. Spies all over the place. Okay, there's Snapchat hitting that 80.70s. <clears throat> STFU bots. Shot up. <laughs> Boy. Where are they coming from? Who who is your leader? Yeah, show me your leader. Who creates just bot programs? I want to, like, find them and... And why is it a bathroom renovation? Go <laughs> do, like, a Batman routine on them. <laughs> just, just doing crazy flips and, and kicks and punches. I'll do a Batman routine on them. You can interpret that what you want from it. <laughs> so DNA stop finally hit. Uh, I'm gonna gonna just trail this one out now. Yeah, and I'm like the only mod here today. Cheyenne was here. I don't know if you're still here, Cheyenne. Does anybody want to be promoted? <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to be promoted? <laughs> Can you guys report and remove bots? Probably not, as, as just normal chatters. <laughs> I'll do it. All right, sample stuff. You've earned it. Male god <laughs> is a disease. <laughs> Gonna go to the gym but listen to the stream while I pump. Nice. Actually what we have we have pool time scheduled for what, eleven ten? Yeah. Okay, that means we gotta we gotta be done in about ten minutes. So ten minutes for this morning session. We're actually gonna leave the stream going. That's what people preferred to have happen. That's awesome. That's what I'm gonna leave it at. So last ten minutes. <laughs> Last 10 minutes of the morning stream. We'll still be here for the afternoon stream. I'm going to leave the stream going because that's what people preferred. We're going to get a good swim on and then we'll be coming back. What did you leave learning on the stream? It's pretty boring. It's just more so just uh, the, the, the charts. I don't know if that's boring or not. We what charts? Cam we left the camera on. So maybe if a cat came and laid in here. Yeah. Tesla for sure. Yeah, you know, Friday we had Nvidia up there. We had Snapchat, Tesla. Well, not Friday, the other day. What else can we put up over here? Oh, thanks. I am Gruton. We will have a good swim. Just throw one of your teaching playlists. I don't have like a teaching playlist. It's 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 more so on YouTube over here. Need to adjust and get more playlists. You're going to have an early night. All right. Good night, Aaron. We will catch you tomorrow. There's the DNA dump. That might be a signal the end of the move. I was trying to give it the space, though, to really ride the longer-term trend. You could play royalty-free music. Is there a website that would play royalty-free music? Actually, I, what I did is I usually put, put up the <laughs> Google Home, and I just play it. That's what I used to do my um, last year, my first like few weeks of trading. Uh, uh, live trading live. I've been trading for a lot longer than that. But we we what I did was I put up the Google Home and played the not royalty free music. Peter's looking in what hole? Tesla consolidation. What are we gonna do, Tesla? Tesla. 790 is that next target, so I'd expect a bit of a pullback. It doesn't have to pull back. It can certainly keep going, and if it does, great. If it doesn't, great. <laughs> huh.
Coin really starting to break down now. Now it's starting to get some legs to the downside. Cool stuff. Come on, coin. It's okay. Take. Don't be shy. Take. Don't. No need to take your time. Okay. Well, what music should I play? Okay. What? For, first of all, Bryce, can you make a poll that says what charts do you guys want? Oh. Sure. What charts should you, do you want? A, well, a poll. Do a poll. Do a poll and the ones, and I'll put up the charts with the highest order. But you're able to put up six charts. We can only give them four options. That's fine. Give them four options. Okay. Wart. Bear flip. Why don't we do hmm? What else? <clears throat> All right, out of those four, what do y'all want to see the most of? Spy. <laughs> yes, we will have a we will have spy up, Matt. We will definitely have spy up. That's important. NCS and Ben Sound and YouTube have nice royalty free music. Should try it out. Ben Sound music. Offers free music for video creators. You can use all music from this channel in your YouTube videos. Excellent. As long as you give attribution to Ben Sound. We'll do Ben Sound. All right, let's do it up. Let's do it up. I'll just put music by Ben Sound. in the description. A spy looking to put in double inside day, which means when we close a direction this week, we gonna fly or dump. Is there a ban option for mods? I think so. You can hide user on the channel. I think that's as a, as banny as you can get. Also, who wanted stem broken down? Dan? Dan, you wanted STEM to be looked at? For the day. Um, up. I see STEM. 
a nice uptrend <laughs> at the moment. Let me zoom out a bit. Yeah, I mean, it's above the the 30 minute highs. Let's see. Kind of hanging out if we look at this guy. Oh. Stop. Hanging out kind of in a consolidation area, but more so at the top of a supply demand zone. So this 2569 area you should watch out for, otherwise could see some going up to 2791. Let's see what that looks like. Smaller time frame. Yeah, so already above 25, so probably look out for that 27 level. Here comes Spy! Curling. YouTube had a glitch where people are commenting, but some weird reason it is appearing on other channels. That's what I was saying. What if that's that's it? Like, it's real people commenting on someone else's live stream. But the comments are also coming over here. Apple's looking to possibly roll over. Yeah, you were talking about Apple rolling over on, what, the 15 minute? Yeah, I'd say that's more... More bearish than bullish. Tesla's staying below... Below this one forty five eight. <clears throat> Good day. Can you break down cost at the three minute? Do you see a continuing downtrend? What is support cost? And good day, Diesel. Um, yes, I see a continuing downtrend support, probably former breakout level of four, eight, four, five, eight, four. Could be next support for cost. Oh, you can zoom out. Um, yeah, a little bit lower, a little bit lower than that. Just uh, grab this pivot right there. 455 uh, would be probably be a better level, a safer level. You could, you can do whatever. Here, Bryce, I need to adjust some positions. Thank you. Okay, let me move out of the way. Yeah, help, help me uh, get ready for the gym, or for the, for the swimming. For swimming? Do you yeah. want coffee? I'm not doing coffee. Yes, yet. yes, please. Oh, that's smart. Subscribers only chat, that's a genius idea. Let's do that right now, actually. That's perfect. That way, if you want to talk, you subscribe. And that's just while I'm gone. That way, because I, I want to be able to... Yeah, th that's the only problem. Okay, let's see here. You know, bots coming in. And if, they, if, they, if they're going to be a bot, they better subscribe. <laughs> Customization. Okay, subscribers. Here we go. Save. How's that now? Okay, who can type in the chat right now? Anybody can type in the chat? Do you see me? Boy, what a day. Spies just went to the lows, went to the highs. Okay, subscribers only. Event, uh, I, 
Bryce, at some point we got to roll out that members and then we can do sometimes members only streams. I don't know if that's going to be a thing yet. That's only if there's a lot more subscribers and DNA, just a slow cooker all day. I'm going to move up my stop on DNA just underneath 1358 and hope that that just did not get hit. If it does, oh well. If it breaks this high, I'm going to move it to the next pivot. Hi, Weenie. Love the channel. I love you, Mr. Zill Assault. Thanks for being here. Thanks for commenting on the Weenie Trades LLC videos as well. That's lit. I appreciate that. If you just literally just type anything. I don't even care if you watch the video or not. If you see a video, hit it. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. Get out of here. <laughs> But also watch the video if you're interested, of course. Thanks again for the tips on replacing my dishwasher. <laughs> Ryan, no, they got him. You break out the members only for an earlier start stream so that only members get the link. It is true. It's really chaotic to be um, in the morning. I can't answer everybody's questions the first 30 minutes of the day. You know, I'm looking for opportunities. I'm managing my swing trades. There's a lot going on in the morning. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, thanks you guys. I'm, tr I'm just trying to set it up right now. And DNA is just paying the bills today. Very nice move from the lows, up 9%. We talked about this one in the pre-market. In the pre-market. Yeah, 74 by 59. I'm going to trail it now by 20 cents. DNA. That might come back to bite me in a squeeze scenario. And just as I say that, boy, she gets clapped. What time is your pre market talk? The, uh, 15 minutes before the market opens. That's it. Asks, how much income are you getting from YouTube? I average about $400 a month from YouTube. and that, But that includes the super chats that you guys do. So I really appreciate that. That's a, that's a big help to support the revenue for the channel. Otherwise, yeah, it's not a lot. But that's kind of, it reminds me that trading sometimes come, you get paid in bursts, like bigger bursts of income and smaller bursts of income. But yes, you guys, I'm gonna turn this off and I will see you guys for Power Hour. I'm gonna write that on the screen. I'm gonna cover this coin short real quick as well. One fifteen. That should fill any second now. Okay. You guys, I'm gonna write this. Be back for power hour. And I'll try to be active in the chat while we're on the way to the gym as well. But we've got, we, 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 we schedule pool time, so we've got to go. Be back for power hour. Play that Ben sound music in the background. Ugh. Okay. True. Wait, can we? Then we have to leave the microphone on. Well, we can do an uh, we can do a desktop capture of audio. Oh, do that then. Just play just play this music though. It's royalty free. It's three minutes. Just do autoplay for the videos. Okay. 
Firm's still not filled me. Trying to close out as many positions as I can, especially the ones that are like mostly break even. Okay. Can you hear it? Okay. <laughs> the music.
Oh, yeah. Thank you for holding. Your call is very important to us. Your expected wait time is 2 hours, 45 minutes.
Shut up and sit down. Shut up and sit down.
Oh yeah. Mortal Kombat uh -uh. Dungeon Dune Dune Dune.
Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. I am home. But give me one sec before I truly am back. Once the camera's on means it's go time. Boy, I really messed up the charts when I left. Carefield Tesla fanboys. Yeah, Tesla? Yeah, what? I can't believe Tesla isn't even up here. Tesla, what a beast. I can't believe it wasn't even up. Yeah, Tesla, it's consolidating at the highs. It could go higher. Well, I'll break down Tesla later. A firm looks more bullish. ATR, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Spy looks bullish. Okay, I will be back in a bit. Let me grab some coffee. Is it? Okay, I am back. Hello, hello, hello. How's it going? Okay, so I could do the camera on, hello, 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 but I also sometimes like the camera off. And yeah, there's Spy. Here, let's get rid of all of this stuff. Let's pull up the chat. I saw some of the uh, <laughs> Honda Moose. I, I saw the that $10 donation that you did. That was so funny. Same with sample stuff. You guys are goofballs. That's for sure. Turn that terrible music off. Yeah. It is off. It was just wasn't even loading. I, I see. I don't know how I feel about leaving the stream on when I'm gone because it's like, uh, what if like something goes wrong? I can't just shut off the stream. I'm in the pool. That's the only thing. It's like, you know, that kind of like awkward little like nervousness. I don't know. AMC looks like it's about to get clapped. Tesla's still in a consolidation. Affirm is bullish. Spy is floppy and choppy. Kind of a double bottom at 442, but not really confirmed. 
And ATER is goofy because I think it can potentially break out, but it needs to kind of hold this hourly candle, this hourly pivot right here. Right there, 1312. I do think it actually could be a pretty good trade, A-T-E-R, but we'll see. <laughs> but thank you guys for hanging out. Snoop Dogg left his stream for eight hours overnight accidentally the other day. I know, that's going to be me. <laughs> I can totally imagine it. <laughs> Keeping it real, welcome. Uh, MMAT, should we check it out? MMAT, yeah, nice good little penny stock breakout. Over 591, held it as support. Nice good move, just kind of just stair stepping higher. Breaking out of a little wedge on the daily time frame. looks like this is already charted out. MMAT, nice good breakout right there today. Over 550. Now it's coming up into some resistance. It can continue. Momentum's there. It's up 18%. Watch out for this breakdown area up at about 699. MMAT shares being sold probably at 699. 4 a.m. weeding getting water. Are you people still here? <laughs> I know, right? We need to do that. And look at DNA. DNA has very long dated option contracts, so there might be a lot more consolidation. AMC rejected off of 40. See how um, when you look at the hourly time frame, it looks a lot more peaceful? But AMC, that is a rejection. But it's probably just going to stick in consolidation right over here. But AMC, resistance, my number 40.47. High a day, 40.63, 40.5. Here, let's uh, remove this right over here. This pin, unpin message. But yeah, how's, yeah, the spy? Kind of just flopping around, chopping and flopping around. Tesla uh, obviously had a very good continuation. Wow, that's awesome. 780 was a breakout level. It was resistance in the morning, but after it, it was resistance twice, it became the breakout later. And a nice, good, continued move. Tesla could probably see 800 today. We'll see. On the daily time frame, we did eclipse this high to 782. So the short seller's um, ducking for cover. Coming up on these resistances now on Tesla. 820 would be next if it can get hold above 800. That's still going to be a big troublesome area. But yeah, there's the spy. Nice, good move. Very good move, in fact. Oh, wow. There we go. Let's get the QQQs to participate. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Is it a broad-based rally? There's Tesla um, continuing its flag pop. Beautiful move right there. From 794.50 all the way up to 795. Chip Green says, looking to buy charge point at intermediate support for a swing trade. What do I think? Let's check out charge point. CHPT. Charge point. If we check on the daily time frame. Kind of a lot of chop. It's at support, but we've already hit the support so many times. We've been making lower highs into the support as well. So uh, if you think it's a good deal, you're lo you're at a low risk entry, but that um, stop might is likely going to get hit down there at 1989. Meaning I think charge point, you could probably get a better deal down at 1779. But if you do like it for a swing trade, I can see your reasoning. 
It's um, it's having a good green day, and it's at a support level. I just don't like how it's already bounced off of this 20 so many times. Yeah, bros got clapped today. Yeah, well, we talked about bros, the pennant pattern. It can break either way. Bros kind of did a little morning shakeout and then flushed. So high, low, double top, higher, low, lower, high, lower, low, lower, high, big, lower, low. Bros got absolutely demolished down to 47.60. That's cool. Yeah, we we're talking about the... The shakeout over here, there's a big shakeout. This is a beautiful bear flag that normally would result to an equal move to the downside in a clean way, but it jabbed back up, found a big double bottom, then it was an overall descending triangle that broke down underneath that 51. That's yeah, so a big flush, 47.60, dip by. That 47.60, if you dip by it, you're getting 50. I don't know if bros goes much higher though. Oh, no way. Your kids had their first swim meet on Saturday. A couple of firsts, some seconds, and plenty of third place finishes. Not bad for a 10 and 8 year old. Not bad at all, McNarls. That's awesome. I'm a, a Bryce is a swim coach. She's actually coaching tonight. I um, am a part time coach for that club as well. And it's it's good. I, I would um, just have let them make sure that they have fun. And remember, they're racing against the clock and they're racing against themselves, too. So if, they, if you want them to be like more competitive, I don't know how, if you want them competitive or not, but you can uh, put, you can just be, be like, Hey, like track your times, keep a notebook. What, what races do you like the most? Get fast in those ones. Well, that's exciting. First swim meet. Very cool stuff. And here comes Tesla. Yeah, the trouble not looking at their competitors. <laughs> you want to just look straight ahead. Yep, eyes on the prize. There's Tesla continuing this beautiful little bottom down here. One seven ninety one fifty. Now going for more. Boy, I, I took profits on Tesla today, but now the FOMO's coming in. It's like whoa. But I mean, that's what investments are for. Investments are so that you don't have FOMO. Anytime you exit a trade. <laughs> and that's not the legitimate reason for having investments. That's a joke, but. <laughs> M1 Finance. Yeah, after today, Tesla became my second largest holding. Which, I don't know, I might trim that. But I also don't want to trim it. Depends on you know, the time horizon. But yeah, Tesla literally was like number like seven or eight in my portfolio and it just took off. Really wish these dogs could talk. They're just staring at me. I know, We that that's what I was thinking too. In the future, we need to be able to communicate with animals better. You know, we need to be able to figure out how to talk to our dogs and cats. Somehow. I must know the truth of what they're saying. I'm gonna move the desk up. Excellent. Used to swim the longer races in high school. Oh, nice, the, the 500, 200, 500. And more. Those are some intense races. Take a lot takes a lot of endurance. I never once swam the five hundred, which is very nice. I was willing to. Just never came about. So there's the spy ripping. There's Tesla ripping. Nice good move. Baba up to 150. So if we broke down Baba yesterday. Baba came at a higher risk, but if you like the dip buy, this is the it was now or never. Interesting. Low, lower low. Not a whole lot of follow through. Could be looking at a wedge for Baba. 
And that wedge still coincides with resistance at 155. Q's pop too. Yeah, so let's check out Q, 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 the Q's. Yeah, pressing up to their highs. Q's just fell into a zone, bounced. Financials have been killing it today. Financials, beast mode. Yeah, financials, higher lows, flat top resistance. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. Remember we talked about the XLF uh, in outspread bull call, uh, yeah, pull, bull call debit spread. You can call it whatever you want. It's an in outspread. Buying an XLF in the money, selling an XLF out of the money. <laughs> Yeah, Tesla, really good move. Especially after the, the morning. That was a really, really choppy morning. And it just had the cleanest, um, what, five-minute wedge break? Yeah, maybe even like a 30-minute wedge break. 30-minute just straight up hourly. Those that trailed it on the hourly. Whoa, nice. Sweet home Alabama ingrained in my head. Really? It was five minutes and 25 seconds I would play it in my head to know if I was on pace or not for the 500. No way. That's so cool. Thinking about a pace. Singing the song. Good to see you keeping it real. Are you saying, wow, is that a ticker or what? Wow. Yeah. Stock is up on the day. Healthy little uptrend. I like it. Looks bullish. Looks like he wants to continue higher. Best time was like 520. That's that's pretty fast sample stuff, a 520. Generally, if you're, if you're like under six minutes as a guy, you would be uh, varsity. It depends on the school though. That's good. Oh, Tesla, wow. <laughs> I was like, ticker wow, or is it the BRB? Wow. BRB, or is it just B right back? BRB, though, doesn't look bad on the monthly. Former breakout area, 420. <laughs> uh, you'd have to be swimming alone rather than chasing someone. Yeah. Diz thoughts, should we check out Disney, D-I-S? Disney, rejected from resistance, my number 179.25. And that was just from the earning, that um, negative news catalyst dump. They must have. Yeah, Disney, really good move, you know, dip and rip. I like Disney long term, is this the buy spot? It could be, I don't think so though, it's just horizontal. Disney just completely range bound. No breakouts, no breakdowns. And Google twenty eight eleven. No, that was be right back. Okay. <laughs> okay. If 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 you if you put in capital letters and it's three or two, three or four letters, there's a potential I might just be breaking that stock down. Six thoughts. Let's check out six. Consolidation on the day after a good morning push. Six flags. You've been on this one, that guy, right? Wow. Who knew six flags was gonna have the the great breakout? We moved higher, lots of consolidation in a channel lower for what? Since February, just a slow channel lower. They reported earnings, whippy day, zigzag lower. But then we started to put in a low, a higher low, a higher low. 
and then a breakout over that 42. And we were talking about that 42. Just did, I didn't think it had enough volume. And it got a little bit of volume, but the price is still just slowly creeping on higher. So stocks can move without volume. But yeah, just a beautiful stair step higher. You're coming up into resistance, though. See, by the time you've know, it's it's a good trend, that's usually too late. Um, but it has room up to 46.11, 46.40. Gosh, and I need to change the title of this, this of this stream. But yeah, let's check out BBIG since it's in the title. BBIG, uh, an expense trade for me on the day. I tried to buy it. I bought it in this consolidation at 7.17. Boom, flush underneath 7.08. I was just making lower highs and lower lows. It's really just eventless. I would say it's uh, probably in the bear's court. There's a lot of bag holders on this one that have a lot of pain. And they're probably just looking to sell out and remove that pain. So BBIG, I'd be leaning bearish. Expect a BBIG to probably come back down. And it might take a while too. And we, I just expect consolidation on BBIG. I wouldn't expect it to break too much further down than 7. Short term, I wouldn't expect it to break out over 775. That's, that's the short term. But in the longer term... Medium to longer term, I'm remaining bearish on it. Patience pays for it. Yep, that's the swing trade. Tesla 800, no way, is it? Tesla 797, there she goes. New highs. And we, we were talking about this. It's like, boy, low, higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low. Boom. Big move higher. They might go for that Tesla 800. There's a lot of consolidation. Lots of snaps at the, at the daily highs. Yeah, look at that. Spy rip. Financial's now consolidating. Spy just chug-a-lugging on up. A-T-E-R came all the way back up. Very interesting. I do like A-T-E-R, A -T -E -R, though. Only though... Huh, each of these highs get popped. Depends on how this candle closes right there. They gave it to me, okay. It's a long A-T-E-R. Stop underneath 1309. I've been waiting for this one for quite a while. Come on, Kathy, I'll make you look like a genius again. Market downturn, hold my beer. <laughs> I know, right? But yes, okay. Ooh, I'm trying to think of ideas. Do you guys have any ideas on what to title the stream? Hmm. What should we talk about? Sorry, guys. I normally have try to have somewhat of a plan, but when I came right back, I was like, oh. Swing trade ticker symbol clove. You're looking to exit clove. Exit uh, from a short or a long trade. Nice, nice move on Clove. Up 3%, probably just a short squeeze. Yeah, I mean, you could just trail up your stop. If you're looking, if you're long and you're looking for a target, a target might be something like 844. If you're short, you'd be looking to short at 844, potentially. 797 is that breakout on the day. If it comes back to 797, it could be a short-term dip buy. I don't know, though.
Apex Thoughts. So check it out. A-P-E-X. Or what, what are we talking about here? Spy Rally. I don't know. It's just consolidation. Probably doesn't do much of anything. Yeah, see, look, there you go. Just as I say that, spy with right back down into consolidation. That's that choppy whipsaw back and forth manner. Thoughts on ARKK with Tesla almost at 800? I mean, Tesla's basically hit 800. If you're holding Tesla for 800, uh, you might just be left holding. You might get the rug pulled on you. ARK? Arc doesn't look too strong. Arc looks pretty weak. Arc looks like a bear flag. So I wonder what's getting Arc smashed today. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Ah, my coffee is still hot. Good. Man. It's okay, we're just gonna put in a high low and spy and go again. Potentially, yeah. But yeah, Arc Arc looks a little bit relatively weak when Tesla's just having a party. Hmm. Oh, Ark's getting smashed by PLTR today. Yeah, tomorrow let it might let it sell off a little bit more. Probably gonna have a little bit of continuation. Twenty six seventy still that dip buy. It's PLTR's fault. <laughs> While we're pointing fingers over here. Yeah, it was PLTR. That's a sarcasm, by the way. Hmm. Do you guys uh, g give me any good memes? <laughs> what do you guys think of the... The Elon Musk Grimes thumbnail. We had a friend over and he helped us with our thumbnail. Gabe. Dogecoin. Beer shortage soon. Panic, panic buy here. <laughs> That's a good one. C create the urgency. Act now. They should point their software at the marketplace to improve the share price. Indeed. To improve the share price. Do I think APYX has continued potation potential? APYX. Wow. Um, that's tough to say. We've already broken out, and it's our second day of the breakout. See, these are the clean breakouts right here. Over 12. Boom, straight up to 14. Probably doesn't go too much further. That's quite a bit. Uh, if we look at the weekly time frame, yeah. All-time highs tends to continue to make all-time highs. I would say yes. If it's pro coming above like 1409, 1420. Otherwise, it could be short-term breaking down at 1367. I would say it's too risky to, to touch because it's already done its move, but... It could still very well go, that's for sure. Still waiting on ATR, it's holding green. They basically gotta let the shorts get squeezed or not. Eighteen. 
Go oh, spy, go. Oh. <laughs> the chanting at spy unfortunately does not actually make it go up. <laughs> but wouldn't that be cool if you could just cheer your stock upwards or downwards? The stock with the biggest crowd gets going. There's AMD new high of the day, 107.94. Wow, great breakout from 106. Very nasty morning. Down 2% in the morning almost. Somebody gobbled that up though. They, they thought it was a good deal. <laughs> what if we chant super quietly like a whisper? <laughs> Makes me feel better. I have limited how much I yell at my screen since joining the chat. Good. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it shouldn't. Rage is never the way. Yeah, Spy listens to nobody. She's a free spirit. I mean, look at this wild animal. Isn't it just like a beautiful little painting? Four, 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 forty-two. Yeah, Spy just kind of fluttered, fluttered, fluttering around, chilling. Not rage, more like a sporting event. <laughs> Netflix is um, put in a hammer candle today, or a, it, it's a little bit of a doji, but long lower shadow. 590 is kind of the breakout for Netflix, and that could trigger today into the close, whatever it may be. The ref was clearly blind. Or a horse race. I mean, trading's not gambling. Or, er. yeah, there's. That's a really long topic. The the trading and gambling thing, because there's so many aspects to it, and there's so many different definitions. Lotto. Yeah, there's the spy chug a luggin. On a good day, uh, it would be a very good day for Spy if Spy got up to 446, even touched 445, I'd say. Give it some white claw. <laughs> up 100% on your 4440 zero data exploration lotto calls. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Let's see, what's it? Um, yeah, the spy very likely to be range bound in that area. I wonder. I, it should be able to break out, right? Maybe. I don't know. Time will tell. I bet we might get as high as something like four, 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 forty four. Let's see that. Four 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 on the SPY. ATER the breakout level is thirteen forty. There's still a lot of resistance at thirteen fifty nine though. Otherwise, it could break out towards the end of the day if it holds. Thoughts on seal up today on a price upgrade. It's up today because also people bought it probably. S E E L or machines bought it. Yeah, up 16%. Made a higher high on the daily, pulled back a little bit. Yeah, seal. Man, didn't hit my support of 222. 226 is the low. Now in front of some resistance at 248. I'll be bullish above 2.51. So if we can hold above 251, but even then, lower highs and lower lows, 2.96 might be the next area of resistance. 296. I wouldn't expect it to go much higher than that. But that's just my opinion. That's a lot of fours.
Oh, hey, thank you guys for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoy this fine Monday. I tried to do some YouTube shorts yesterday, but I realized that you need like the tinier screen. Otherwise, every all the other criteria was met. You have um, five comma seven calls on BBIG and this Friday, any upward movement today? Um, it, you could potentially get upward movement today, but I don't know. It's looking pretty grim if you have calls on BBIG. It looks like BBIG has already made its move and today is just up just so it could get sold into. Now, of course, it can still continue to go higher, but the thing is, it's more likely to continue down than it is up, based off what I'm seeing. Anything can happen. None of this is financial advice. Um, yeah, I mean, for you to have hope, just you just got to say above today's high, 762. Otherwise, that was just some resistance for bears to sell. No problem. Let me know if you need any other updates. I need to still switch the uh, title. Hmm. What should we use for a title? Okay. Market. A T E R. Man. Yeah, she didn't want to come. Very interesting. Thirteen oh nine. 1303. Well, that one might be done then. Unless it comes above that 1335. Hmm. Did I do any buying or selling today? Oh, yeah. I um, took profits on a firm today. Probably too early. Took profits on Tesla this morning at 780. Boy, Tesla went on a nice good tear after that. Tesla rejected hard from 780. It's just, it just wanted to break it today. Um, and there's Tesla, new high of the day, straight into a deep, deep pullback. So Tesla, probably, you could probably get a dip buy on Tesla at that 782 now. And that would be the, the dip buy, in my opinion. 782. Yeah, in terms of, yeah, DATs. A lot of the penny stocks, they like, uh, they, they, they tag the stops, but then they go. You know, Snapchat was a little bit choppy this morning. Coin took profits on a coin short. Beyond. Short of beyond, stop was hit at the high of the day. And then BBIG dropped. It was a really non-eventful day in terms of just P&L, but a lot of, fight, which there really shouldn't be that much of a fight with the market. Also CCL for a swing trade. Let's check out CCL. Carnival Cruise. Kind of a one, two, triple bottom, quadruple. CCL looks like a breakdown formation underneath 26.50. Already made its move higher, extended into resistance. I would expect CCL to probably go sideways, just sideways. Still actually bullish as long as we're hanging above 26 for the most part. On the daily time frame, 27.07. Yeah, you, you, you could buy it, but we've had what, our earnings report? They must have said some good things. Is this yesterday or Friday? 
Friday. Yeah. Just continuation from Friday. But I would be careful on CCL. I mean, you, you could take the breakout. You know your stop, right? 26.50. CCL likes to move in 50 cent increments. Am I still in BBIG? No, I stop out right away. I I um, bought BBIG. Here, let's see. You can show, it shows my fills right over here. Now, BBIG, I lost $44 on it this morning. It was unfortunate because I was uh, sized in pretty well, but we moved higher. We rejected from resistance. We sold off. We did a bear flag into a drop straight into a jab. We rejected from that resistance, but then we started to curl higher. If we really wanted to go, uh, if we really wanted to sell off, it would have done it earlier. And BBIG went long right there. Stop loss right underneath this pivot, 717. Boom, 717 hit. Yeah, some of these penny stocks have been moving recently. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Leo ITA says, hello, Weenie. Hope all is well with you and your dear ones. Aw, that's so awesome, Leo. I hope you're doing well as well. You and your family and everyone else. Whoever is dear to you. I hope everybody in the world is well. You appreciated the video yesterday on the Weenie LLC about the bunch of stocks. That's awesome. Yeah, you can skip a hat around too. Yeah, those ones, they take quite a while. They're, they're pretty taxing sometimes too. I don't do any preparation for those too. So I literally just pull up the stock and just go off about it. But yeah, no, BBIG, really? Yeah, this, is, this is the price. It had a great morning move. Good dump of 6.5%. Bears probably just walked away with the money. And now just it's just flopping around. Yeah, AMC. Yeah, the Tesla little uh, double bottom there at 793 as well. A nice good move by Square. Moderna, really low. Moderna down 4.75% today. I feel like this could be the dip buy on Moderna. Or did we make a lowered low? I'm going to let it make a lower low on the daily first. 398. 398 on Moderna. Otherwise, this could be... Uh, this, this probably is the low for the day, 407. I don't know, though, is it? Mm, it could be. It is oversold into support. But it's already bounced $2 off the lows. That could still be early enough. Moderna is a tricky one. CCL is cruising. I'll be here all day. <laughs> no, literally, I'll be here all day. <laughs> you might laugh. I probably will laugh, keeping it real. But you got in FAMI at 22 cents. F-A-M-I, FAMI. Looks like you could get a share for uh, less than a quarter over here. You bought it at 22 cents. Hey, I mean... At least you know you you can have a nice good two penny stop loss, right? A ten percent stop loss. Boy, you'd be I'm um, pretty happy if family went up to thirty five cents, right? That's the previous breakdown area. You wouldn't expect much more than that. I would say, why'd you waste your money? But maybe you didn't waste your money. That's the thing. The party's arrived. The party's arrived. Hello, yes. Bryce. Hello. Welcome to the stream. What you got right there? Here, I'm going to show what, what Bryce got, has got over here. Oh, okay. I've got oatmeal. I made some oatmeal. Oatmeal and strawberries. Yeah, there's some frozen strawberries in there. I got some... It's made with water because we're out of milk. Um, there's protein powder in there and cinnamon. Almond butter and honey. And then some seeds. Huh, you made a video without preparations? Actually, Leo, all of my videos are without preparations. The preparation is the title and the topic of the video. That all, oh, just yeah, like, what am I going to talk about? Yeah, there's here. Moderna. Moderna? Yeah, on the LLC channel. Yeah. Oh, 
No, yeah. you're good. You're good. I, I was just, I was just looking. What were you saying about mRNA? I'm trying to think of idea. Um, I was you trying to think it. of ideas of. Oh, I, I went and changed. You it. updated it. Yeah, oh, nice. It thank you. See what you think? Nice. Yeah, there's a little Moderna wedge break. Yeah, there's a little Moderna, Moderna dip break. by? Ah, uh, question mark. Put a question mark. Because I think, I think one... Mark. Okay, good. One more red day should be good. And there's Tesla. Nice good move on the day. Yeah, I think I need... I can hear you. Yeah, I think... I think I need to do the debit spreads way more. Because debit spreads... Yes. Boom. Just sit there all day. Even uh, Snapchat. Snapchat's been peaceful with the debit spreads. It's still just kind of hanging out. The firm kind of flopping and chopping around. Tesla looks like that was the dip buy right down there at 793. Greg, you left this marker open and got marker on my sweater. Oh no, I'm so sorry. We're, we we need we need some more pens over here. Pens? I know all of our pens disappeared. Does that happen to you guys? Your writing utensils just poof. They're gone. Don't know where they go. Mute your stream window. Yes, that's what I was saying. There oh, we go. Oh, I see. Now you cannot hear the echo. Okay. Good to see you, Sam. CEI, please. What about CEI? For what? A day trade, swing trade, investment, a scalp trade? CEI? We talked, oh yeah, we talked about this one. So we've, we've broken this one down um, already, but we'll, we'll do it again. Over here, 250. 250, we talked about it's bullish if it can hold above 250. We are currently above 250. So I would expect it to probably continue higher. 280 is the next area of resistance. And again, be careful on CEI because we've already broken out. So now that we've already broken out, you're at much higher risk for a pullback. Because the better entry, the more logical one, was about a dollar seventy-six. Dollar seventy-six, and it held that on Friday, and today closed, closed that kind of just the fifty percent mark, gapped up over the weekend, running. I would just be careful. It needs to hold this two fifty, for it to continue higher. But it's risky up here, riskier. Okay, yeah, so, okay, so long-term. Long-term, I have no idea about the fundamentals or balance sheet of this company. So that is tough to, so. Spy didn't show up for work today, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Just flopping back and forth. Flopping and chopping up around. Pets go for a walk. And never come back. <laughs> Your target is over 90. Nice. I hope you get that target. You know, um, for a penny stock that's $2 to get to 90, it has to go to, to, from 2 to 3 to 4 to 5 to 6. It's got to go through those sequences, right? Unless it just the next day opens up at 90. Which that could happen, but it's very unlikely. Peter, what's up? Okay, five is the next target. I hope it goes well. Are you not feeling well, Honda Moose? Tell me about it. Tesla passive bears are look are probably shorting that and putting their stops above two seven ninety eight. There's hood from the lows. Forty four was the dip buy on hood. Forty three forty. Yeah, that's.
All right, keeping it real. You bought 4,500 shares of Famine. We'll sell close to 50 cents. Just understand. Okay, as long as you know your risk, right? You know how much you're willing to lose on that trade, right? Any just woke up. Good to see you, smiling pitbull. Welcome. Let's check out any. Yeah, really good wake up on any. My resistance 750. 760. My resistance 760. So far high is 750. If you look at the hourly time frame, just broke out over 650. So nice good breakout from 650 all the way up to 750. Nice good move. Good, good stuff. Yeah. Honestly, um, that's probably a short, but I wouldn't short it. You had an unexplainable fever last night and a headache. Didn't sleep well, swept through my clothes, woke up soaked. It was gross. All in the work and slept until noon. Feel tons better. Oh, I'm so glad. I had no idea. And you just showed yeah, up. We you, were all like, where's Honda Moose? Uh, and you just showed up and you're just like, oh, here, here, here's $10, weenie. You just, you, 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 after such a rough night. That shows the type of man Honda Moose mm -hmm. is. <laughs> a good one. Thinking of others when he's at his lowest. <laughs> Indeed. Now, in terms of the breakout on any, there's a bracket that you can set 740 by 723. Yeah, no. There's the spy reverting back to the mean, flopping and chopping around. Bros. I hope you're doing well, though. That was just a great opportunity. Yeah, yeah, go get tested. Just in case. Be well. Indeed. Keep resting, though, even if you feel better. <laughs> or maybe go for, like, a walk. Can. Peter's just Meow. Yeah, Neo really good dip and rip. Tesla, look at Tesla on the day, Bryce. Wow. Beautiful breakout. And mRNA is pooping. Today. Is it? Yeah, well mRNA, um, MRNA just had that wedge break right there, 409.22. Yeah. That's good for two points so far. That's half a percent. But now it looks like it may be in a channel. Do you feel a lot better? No, that's good. Too hot for a walk outside. Really? How hot is it there? Yeah, dang. Be well makes me think of Demolition Man. I don't know who Demolition Man is. Enlighten me, sample stuff. Where do you think mRNA will go upside today? Oh, uh, great question. At the previous breakdown area. So mRNA broke down from 414. If mRNA is coming up to 414 from the bottom side, that's likely going to be some resistance. So here it comes, moving on up. And Peter, Peter's sad. Peter's crying. I think he really wants to go outside. We didn't get him out this morning. Boeing was a fade. Oh yeah, we did. Yeah, this morning was a scramble. Wesley Snipes and Sly Salone. Peter, Peter, what's up? <laughs> oh. Netflix, Mark. Uh. Should I do the swing trade on it? Uh. Yeah. Can you do it with Peter in your lap? Yep. <laughs> oh. oh, he left. Gosh, that's a, not a good risk to reward on Netflix. That should fill immediately. 
That should fill. Oh. Jeez, it's sometimes tough to catch the, the, the breakout. 2.61. But honestly, I'm not... Mm. Yeah. What's great about credit spreads is you get one average in on them. So what credit spread did you just get on Netflix? I sold, and this is the next week, I sold the 595 put. So I basically need Netflix above 595 by next week. Defined risk trade. That's a tricky one. Came right back to this consolidation zone, 577. Yeah, it's likely going to be somewhat near a potential high of the day as well. Next Friday? Yeah, next Friday. Tesla new hod. No way. Nice. Tesla. The conservative bears got thwacked. 797. She continues the climb. The ascent up the mountain. Netflix could just like come back to 586, that would be great. But it's just now filling the gap. But see how on the day, this is probably going to hit resistance first. What's resistance? 591. And then snap back down. We shall see. Others are being weenie babies. <laughs> <laughs> am I a weenie baby, Robbie? I think I am. <laughs> I'm a weenie baby too. Yeah. I like to be held and, and babied like a baby. You can taste and smell every time you've gotten a cold in the last few years, you end up with a low grade fever. Interesting. So you just had like a hyper fast case of the sickness, a sickness, but then it goes away pretty fast. So type of coal. <laughs> Just my coworker, sorry. No, no, Robbie, you're fine. I th no, Robbie. Here's the thing. I actually am a weenie baby. That's the yeah. that's the joke. <laughs> no, I know. I we know you weren't saying Greg is a weenie baby. And even if you were, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> There's like. That's. I think that's the whole point of weenie trades is to be able to. Try and make fun of yourself. Because once you can make fun of yourself, then nothing can hurt you. Because it's all a joke. Mostly. But yeah, Spy still just consolidating. DNA still consolidating. I'm going to keep this contract on. Since it has two whole weeks and it's still maintaining its breakout. You know, I'd love to just take profits now, but I've got to hold. Let's get going, Spy. Test the top end of the range. Potentially. Potentially. Look at Google. 2846 closed on Friday. Today, down half a percent. And then recovered. Mm-hmm. Now lots of stocks with the recovery. It's a recovery day. ATER is right to go with that um, tight stop. Hmm. Sam thinks GME is a good short. Oh, look at that. Hey. Okay, so the Moderna resistance mm -hmm. right there. My number, 412.20. But the next layer is 414.00. Big so rejection. It, fall, it could fall back down to the You think GME is a good short? Yeah, the problem is it just doesn't have any volume. The apes are just kind of holding. They're just holding it up. 
So it could go sideways to slightly lower. Yeah, exactly. Probably just a slow bleed into 180, maybe. Bear call credit spread's probably the way to go. But there's Spy reversing it again. Welcome, Bradley. Yes, I hope you guys have had a good trading day as well. Painter is leaving. Gotta go, beautiful people. Much love, happiness, great health, and peace on earth. Indeed, peace on earth. Peace keeping it real. Indeed. We'll see you around. Indeed. Spy, lower high. Like we said, spy, choppy. Hey, it, it, well, it's tough. Spy's like choppy, but slightly bullish. <laughs> it's just like a... So you kind of just get like jagged. <laughs> Is that the spy? That's the spy. Shaking just around all just day. Just shaking, shaking, shaking. <laughs> I remember when the, the you remember when the spy just 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 did fat yeah. green candles, fat red candles. I remember when the spy when the spy just did. Oh, I can't. When the spy just did every day, just every day, just like that. No, they do like pop, bull flag pop, bull flag pop. Okay, we've done three bull flags in a row. Time to drop. GME will pick up volume once it starts moving. Yeah. Yeah, once it starts moving, then everyone's going to be like, Game stops moving. I know. And then... <laughs> Look at this Shopify channel into a sideways consolidation. What an interesting trading day for shop. I do hood. Hood rejected from 45. Netflix still holding the 590. Which is always good. That looks like a bull flag. A mini one. Netflix looks like it could go higher. See, the thing is, this is still trending resistance. That's the problem because we had oh, a high. That's true. A lower high, lower high. We're extended from the bottom. First you, like, first you might put in a lower high, but then you got to give it room to pivot and put in a higher low. My hope is that I can spot the higher low on the pullback if Netflix pulls back mm. and do the second half and add on that dip into the continuation. The way that you draw it, it looks like that might, that could happen after hours but maybe it's just because what also can happen after, after hours. hours is it can it can gap up and then it, it, it probably a gap up a sell off and then a go so mean reversion says netflix is a short short term but if you're looking to build a position it's either now or never you go in half what's cool about credit spreads is you can average down once i like to average down one time call it good that way you get to collect the premium. Yeah, and there's ATR rejecting off of that 1330. Amazon, my number was 3333, low a day 3339. Hmm. Close. Didn't quite read. Spice on so we Still need that Neo stock over 40 bucks. That's all I want for Christmas. Robbie, if I could give you that Christmas present, I totally would. It's having a good day today, up 3%. Now, it just has a lot of damage on the daily chart. So, Neo, I even tried to buy it at 35. Now it's starting to dig higher. 36.89 is short term resistance, but then 38 is the next level for Neo. 38. That's a good move. Pepperidge Farm remembers. Remembers what? Everything, Bryce. Who's Pepperidge Farm? Or what is Isn't that a joke on Family Guy? <laughs> BBIG capitulation on one minute? No. In fact... You'd probably be looking much lower. 
Maybe a little short-term capitulation. Good for a 2% bounce, but you got to throw your order in in front of that. I would say that's likely going to get faded. BBIG. I was going to... If it gets there today, 666. Yes, 666. Probably the dip buy, but later in the week, probably 587. But I don't know if I'd even want to dip buy this thing. Looking for AMD to break out of this five minute ascending triangle. Maybe I'll try to trade it again today. AMD probably not going to go much higher than 108. Probably not going to go much lower than 106. It's probably just going to flop around. You, I would go with the duration positions. Uh, 109. 109 is the next resistance. So where's your stop? I don't know. There's still support on AMD not 106. So I think 106 might be the dip buy, maybe as low as 105.40 as well. SoFi recovered beautifully today. SoFi, yeah. SoFi, 808. Nice, good high. Now sitting at 1777. Had a big morning dip, recovered fully from the lows and from the lows up 7%. Not an overall big, big move overall, but still... Great intraday volatility. If we look at the five minute, five minutes still choppy. Where does the chop get run out? 30 minute, no. Hourly. Hourly still rejected from resistance. So needs to hold above 18 to continue the uptrend for SoFi. 19 is the next area of resistance. I took profits on Friday on SoFi. Just to like a leap call option. Quick 100%. That's a good little move. How are you doing, Bryce? Good. Grab Peter. Peter. What do you guys want to see for today's video? Yeah, is there anything, anything that stood out to you today in the markets? And if, you, if you're in the Discord and you have ideas, post in the video or merch ideas and vote on things that you like. Is Queen Kathy going crazy? <laughs> hmm. Really wow. bad dance moves. All right, in this video today, I'm going to be showing you some really bad dance moves. <laughs> Are you about to dance? There will be no stock technical analysis. <laughs> It'll just be you dancing to the Ben sound music. <laughs> you need to pee, though. Oh, I thought you were going to dance. Oh. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. I'm getting my money ready, Campos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if I recovered beautifully today, yes. Lovely. Baba kicked your butt today. Like a Baba? Baba? Oh, wow. So you were short Baba then. <laughs> that Evergrande news. It's a bunch of BS. Doesn't matter. At least it doesn't matter to the market. Tell me how many cars you think Neo will announce they delivered for September on October 1st, this Friday. How many did they deliver their last time around? Or is this their first delivery ever? Do you know Robbie? <laughs> You are the Neo master. Only like 5,600 cars last month. 
So they need to have sold more. I'll guess 8,000. That's my guess. Maybe 10. But the, wait, let me look at the chart first. <laughs> Why are you laughing, Greg? They pooped big time last month. I have no idea. I'll keep I'll keep my guess at eight to ten thousand. Yeah. <laughs> the chart um doesn't reflect how many cars. I know. <laughs> but it, like it, it could maybe give you an idea. Yeah, like but, uh, like where know. they were last month in terms of. Yeah, in terms of stock price. Stock price. Okay, they got talent. No, it kicked butt, not your butt. Oh. Did I read that wrong? Did you type it wrong? Yeah, Neo kicked butt. I think that must have been when Neo was going off. Is Neo on the daily time frame? Yeah, th probably around here. Probably in June, late June, early July. It's probably when they announced some positive delivery numbers. Then that's where we actually created that lower high pivot based off the sharp rejection on Neo. And that created a pretty big sell off. Neo's almost dropped almost 50%. I mean, since that high, Neo's dropped 35%. Third shaved off. Long term, it could, you know, it makes sense that it would be higher, right? But it depends. Time will tell. Coin, glad I covered my short. Coin made a new low of the day, 227.35. Talked about the short entry from 230. Said you could short underneath 230, stop 231.50. Boom, there's your th almost three points. It all almost gave you two R if you had the perfect entry. Uh, Tesla short at 797. Would that be a good if idea? Hate, if you hate money. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Um... <laughs> You'll probably be able to churn out some money. What I would say is let Tesla get as FOMO as possible from here. That's probably when you want to short it. So when you see Tesla going like vertical and it's just a fat, fat green candle after already an extended move higher, let it reject. Find that top pivot after what would look like big, big FOMO buying. Like it looks like it's going to go to the moon. And that's probably where you'd want to place your stop. But otherwise, Tesla looks like it still just wants to move higher. Just just, just cruise on higher. Beautiful move on Tesla today. Shouldn't have written it off after the rejection of 780 this morning. But when you break the high of the day and then the low of the day in the subsequent few minutes, something's sketchy. I have a 970 call on Tesla expiring October 8th. 970? 970. Call. He's you're shorting that Yogesh, right? I know you're shorting that. <laughs> I I you, you you should be able to get the full premium on that. Did you guys yes. work out today? Yes. <clears throat> yes, we went to the pool. We swam at the pool. It was good. And why am I smiling, Yogesh? Bryce is allowed to smile. <laughs> Why would I not be? I can can express happiness. Yeah, there's Netflix still holding the five nineties. Netflix just cr chill, chuckle lugging on higher. That trade is actually making money now. The put credit spread on Netflix. Oh, don't worry about it, Robbie. It's a hard question. If you don't stock Neo like me, the car question. Sometimes Rini, we, uh, Neo will run up into the end of the month before they announce their previous month. Yeah, yeah, it, they, they, it runs up in anticipation of good numbers. Yeah, Neo, it could be... Um, here, let's break down Neo potentially on the darker chart. For out of res well, actually, let's check out TradingView, maybe. Let's check out, I want to break down Neo on TradingView. 
Because Neo really is an interesting one. I do think that there's potentially a lot of opportunity in it. But there's also a lot of risk in it. Yeah, Neo. I mean, there's been buyers at this level before. See this? Scoop, scoop, scoop. Stick save scoop. But yeah, just a channel. It, I, I hope that that's a bull. You, Robbie, you want to hope that that's a bull wedge. So basically you'd want it to vibrate and then break out. And that would put it above 40, or should at least. Depends on this tail candle on this day. But yeah, there's been buyers at this level air before, this whole area. You'd hope that they could take over. I'd say um, it looks like a reversal. It could be. We made a lower low, not a lot of follow through, spiked back up. That could lead to some continued upside for Neo. Time will tell, though. But, yeah. 38 would be the next target for Neo. You ripped a cycle session, did some curls for the girls. <laughs> nice. Do you have a girl that you're curling for, Matthew? <laughs> Look at the, and then you, Matthew, you're telling us to look at the FOMO big green candle on Tesla. It looks like a FOMO big FOMO. green candle. It could be. No, no, it doesn't create FOMO. It's just funny. Look, I, I, there's a ticker symbol called FOMO. Isn't that funny? It's ironically up 1.2% today. Look at the low liquidity. <laughs> Why would, how come the meme stalkers haven't gotten a hold of FOMO? <laughs> They have, Bryce, just in different forms. Tesla, 798. I don't know if that looks like a FOMO candle yet. I've seen, there's been some pretty big Tesla candles. But yet another great day. 799. 799. They're going to they're gonna toy with anybody that has a limit order sitting at 100. Because I feel like they're going to yank the rug from them. But we'll see. Tesla could just break... If it, if it gooses them and falls up short, the next time it's coming up to 800, it could blast through 800. We said on, well, on Friday. On Friday, Tesla on Friday, day 100. In the, in the car, on the car live stream. Well, yeah. And here too. Well, yeah. It, um, analyzing a stock is much um, more difficult than trading a stock. Because then you think, okay, do I buy Tesla? at any of these prices that yeah, yeah 780 that was resistance but then it just didn't give any consolidation the way it breaks out sometimes is different of course i saw the call good 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 anyone seen this article bitfinex one of the cryptos crypto world's most controversial exchanges paid 23 dollars and $23.7 million in transaction fees to deposit 100000 on the blockchain in dot 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 yeah my wife <laughs> CEI running up no, is it I above 2.50 yeah it held 2.50 there's the breakout new high of the day on CEI held 2.50 Seven percent. That is a good move. Hmm. Very, very nice move. Oh, your wife is the girl that you're curling for. Ah. Nice. Yeah, she's allowed to smile, but I want to know so I can smile too. The I don't remember at this point. <laughs> You know, swimming puts, um, always puts me in a better mood because it's just yeah. like, sometimes I just want to just like sprint and run around like Peter does. Yeah. Peter, we... <laughs> Peter gives us like energy. Parker's just more chill. He'll just like lay there. Yeah. We worked on breakouts, breakouts and finishes. So we just did a lot of 25s. But they were fast. Boeing likely going to get shorted and probably come down to 222. And there's Tesla, seven ninety nine, straight into a pullback. Wow. 
There's bros, rejection from 50. MRNA, still rejected. Waiting for MRNA dip buy tomorrow. If MRNA oversold dip buy in play tomorrow, that's going to be a pretty interesting trade setup. Counter trend trading. AXP shows up on my indicator with four green categories. Hour of four. Yeah, AXP American Express. This one's been a really good uh, mover. Um, today, it looks like it wants to fade off a little bit. But if we check on the daily time frame, boy, what a beautiful breakout. I see, I try to, I take this setup all the time. You see this consolidation down here, Bryce? Yeah. That's where the most of the range is contained. I bought this for a day trade right there. But look, could have just been a nice good swing trade. One, two, three. Now we're four days up at in front of resistance. The odds favor we go sideways to lower. So the AXP, it's great to watch, but I, it's, it's too risky up here right now. If it's a week from now and AXP's at this 177, then it's good to go. It's settled for a long enough time. Um, otherwise, yes, 174 is the potential dip buy, 174. That was likely going to be resistance, but it didn't do it. So we can just duplicate this, and it did that distance, and a little bit more, past. Not a single share. Only $24 million dollar fee for a $100,000 transaction? What is up with that? What is this world? It reminds me of um, the doctor bill I just got. <laughs> Just, uh, just, just, a, uh, just like, oh, you, you pay so much, and they only tell you, and they tell you so little. Yeah, uh, they're like, all right, um, paid the copay, okay, should just be a normal visit. They're like, all right, you're healthy, you're healthy, Greg. I'm like, cool. Thanks for having me. Just wanted to make sure everything was all good. And then they're like, all right, but for us telling you that you're healthy. Pay us $380. <laughs> what is up with the healthcare system? It's not going to exist. Please pay me. No, it's not, it's, and it's nobody's fault. It's, it's uh, I'm not blaming the doctor. It's but. the system. <laughs> Do you, Do you think, think the mRNA pullback was because the CEO said the pandemic would be over by next year? I don't know. Could be. Oh, over by next year? Booster shot progress. Normal life. Yep. Pfizer CEO. Albert Buria recently predicted a return to normal life within a year. Just from now. The likely need for annual shots. Annual shots. <laughs> I got my flu shot yesterday. No. Yeah. What if they just gave me another <laughs> Pfizer vaccine? I know, why I need to move to Canada. Mostly free health care. You wouldn't have gotten a bill for that and probably would have sent you home with the lollipop. Oh, they didn't even give you a lollipop today. No. They just said a bill of good health is your reward for today. And here's an extra bill. <laughs> for us. On top of your bill of good health. <laughs> They're working on antiviral pills. Wow. So you won't even have to get a shot. That's very nice. I remember when I was younger. I don't know if they still do it. But I went to a flu shot clinic. In like this warehouse. Like there was just so many people there to get the flu shot. Just packed together. And I got one up my nose. Like it was like a spray up my nose instead of the shot. Wonder if they still do that. If that's just a blast from the past. AMD above 108? Wow, good move on AMD. Hmm. So right idea. See this and this is one why this is one of the reasons why I like getting back in Bryce. 
Yeah, you could have gotten back in. I should have gotten back in, but next time. I feel like in the morning you need to pick three. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. pick, the top three. Pick three socks. What did my notes say? This oh, morning? Check my notebook. Yeah. And shout out to Andrew Ditter. Can we take a look at C-E-L-H and P-Z-Z-A? Oh, yeah. Let's Both check it out. Consolidating. Let's check it out. C-E-L-H. C-E-L-H. Downtrend on the day, minus 6.26%. Very choppy downtrend. If we look at the daily time frame, got a little bit overcooked, I'd say. As in, we, we, we were making just regular higher lows, but then we start to go parabolic. And once we start to go parabolic, that can be sometimes ending moves. So CELH, the breakout is over that 80. That was the valid entry. It looks like it wants to roll over to 80. This is... Uh, could be a reversal candle today. So down 6.25% after such a big run up. Stops likely get hit along the way until there's actual buyers to step in. They could step in early, but I would say 80 looks to be the dip buy on CELH. Otherwise, in terms of short-term consolidation, uh, there might be a short-term dip buy right about here. And that's just this candle close, right? The candle open, I should say. 91.62. So 91.62, if it got there today, could be a dip buy. But really, I would wait for the much lower prices down at 80. So that's CELH. In terms of the option chain, not very tight bid ask spread. So I wouldn't trade options on it. Yeah, 50, uh, 50 cent wide spreads. Yeah, no, no thank you. PZZA. Pizza. Pizza. Papa, Papa John's. John's. <laughs> You know, this is bad. I didn't even know that Papa John's had a stock. I just thought it was DPZ Domino's and that's it. Um, Domino's. Pizza, PZZA. Good way to mem remember it, right? Stock is um, doing a very beautiful consolidation pattern. You see that? There's a lot of positions being built, both bullish and bearish. Which side do you think is going to win, Bryce? I would say, to say I would lean slightly bullish I, based off that. Yeah, I mean, it's pizza. <laughs> I would say <laughs> you, you have a hint that it's a breakout over 131, but really the breakout is over that 132, 132.17. Uh, in terms of PZZA, uh, I don't know about the dip buy. The dip buy is a tricky one, 110. On pizza, but Andrew Dinner, I, lo I love your eye for value. What what I might do is while you're in the consolidation, sell a put, sell a put, and you, you got to be willing to own the shares. But I would own shares of pizza. Yeah. So, like for example, Bryce, if I agreed to buy a hundred shares of pizza, PZZA, at one twenty eight, I can get paid two hundred dollars. I can say, hey. Pay me two hundred dollars. I'll buy it. I'll buy. But you have to buy it for at one twenty eight by the yeah. expiration date if it's beneath it. If it's beneath one twenty eight. If it's above one twenty eight, I just get to keep two hundred bucks for free. So selling a put, you're basically selling the bears, saying I don't think your put option is going to be worth much. I'll take that from you. And so you sell it to them. How many days do you think it could take? That's the thing. It's already been in a consolidation for quite a while, but the consolidation could continue for quite a long time. Which is why it'd be good to sell a put. Yeah, which is why it could be good to sell a put. It flops around. Should I give it a try? Should yeah. I try, 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 um, try uh, throw in a fishing order? We just can't forget about it. What I think about it, well, it can be for today. But I'm going to yeah. try and bid. I'm going to try and sell it to, for 220 so like the stock will try and come down and fill me maybe because I'm adding liquidity to the market whenever you place a limit order. So whenever I do the market order, yeah, it gets me in liquidity. and out no matter what. There's but I'm not adding liquidity to the market. I'm removing liquidity from the market. Yeah. Did I see Target Weenie? I did not. Should we check out Target? Well, I'll send an alert on PZZA if it comes down. But oh, you kept getting it looks interesting. The drop. And shout out to Andrew Dinner. Thank you for that. TGT. Oh, 237. This is potentially the dip buy for Target for me. 
I'm going to leg into a put credit spread. It's nice that it's still down there. <laughs> it's just been hanging out. Usually, though, that can mean more doom to come. But it's targeted. I'm going to reference from the 240 level. Sell the 240 put. Oh, that's not a good risk to reward. I wonder if the equity just might be better. I'm going to go with the equity of target. I like the shares because of the dividends. Okay. You're going to get it on Robinhood then? No, I'm going to get it on M1 Finance. Ah. And I need a shortcut for M1 Finance. Yes, 45 minutes until the close. Hope you're all doing well. I'm doing pretty well. Okay. So, where's my target? Right over here. I've been waiting for quite a while to add to this one. And I feel... Oh, we're still in subscribers only. <gasps> oh, no! Okay. Well, here, it makes sense that people... That. Okay, you can? Nice. I'll go. Here you go to edit. So just bought some Target, quarter grand at that uh, level. I am testing out um, M1 Plus right now. They said, hey, we'll give you a year for free. Here you go. Smart analysis on CELH. Yeah, should we check out CELH? Yeah. Yeah, I, that's probably a reversal, but otherwise short term, 9141. Yeah, 80.64. The Bay Area, Seattle, most of the work happens. I don't know where it is. So here, what I do is I go to... Edit? Edit video. Where I am. Oh, it's actually under analytics. Oh. Yo, you click on analytics. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then. Yep. Where do you change it? Edit. And then scroll down right here. And then. Customization, customization, right here. So anyone who can send messages, anybody. We almost knocked heads. Really. No, it wouldn't be the first time we've knocked heads, Bryce. Oh, I know. <laughs> Out of context, that might sound weird, but. Like physically actually bonking our noggins together. Yeah, bonking the noggins. So Neo knew high of the day at the end of the day. I was scouting that dip buy at 36.50. It only went 25 cents though. Boeing looks like it's about to break down, but nah, might just not. Is naked range bound right now intraday? Likely to break higher. For naked. Which one? Naked, likely to break. NAKD. Probably going to get clapped. Is it range bound? Uh, actually, no. It's having a bit of a trend day. And it, it got over the initial morning hump. So we got a nice good morning pump. 5%. A nice good morning dump. I had one of those too. <laughs> Minus 8%. Now we're consolidating above 80 cents. I would say probably a breakout... 82.50. Uh, it, it's already th one, two, three, four days up from the lows. You wouldn't want to be buying this naked. You could. But you're just uh, more likely to just lose money. So I'd be careful on that. I'm Matthew Luker. Can I break down MRO, which is a long-term hold? It had a great day today. Let's check out MRO, my two cents. Oh, yeah. Very good day. Nice. Stock is up 6.7%. Stock is a winner today. 
Lots of choppy consolidation, false breakout. Now we're coming to it from the bottom side. This one probably eclipses these highs of 1433, but there's probably going to be a lot of volatility on the way before it does that. So just uh, observe this channel on MRO. See how it reacts. It's doing great. Way to go. Yeah, that 14.33 is that all-time high. I would also watch out for 14.07. It can sneak up on you. And that's just the top end range of consolidation before the all-time high. And recent pivot, 13.70. But really, should be more bullish than it is bearish as long as it can hold above 13.50. Bought naked shares 0.66. Nice. I've look, been looking for a new broker these days. Yeah. it. It's interesting what the brokers offer nowadays. Maybe a commissions broker would be um, interesting because Thinkorswim has definitely gone downhill. Or maybe I should just not try to day trade or scalp on this because... Mm. Yeah, there's Tesla. So Tesla pulled back from 799 down to 795, but bull's still holding a higher low. Baba, great um, extension on the day. Shop a little double bottom, 1414. Couldn't move lower. Somebody likes Shopify at these prices. Thoughts on ALGN, that guy asks. What are your thoughts on ALGN? I don't think about ALGN. What should I think about ALGN? ALGN, a line. Wow, what a great uh, year this has had. Higher highs, higher lows. A little bit of a what rising wedge, meaning we're making higher highs, but we're barely getting any follow through. Can that break down? It could. It probably just goes nowhere. I mean, what, what are your goals with a line? I would say, based off the way that looks like on the weekly, I mean, that looks dangerous. But it doesn't mean it is or has to be, but it just looks dangerous to me. As in, like, okay, what's what are the odds that we bust higher or break the rising wedge? Bearish. Yeah, Snake, Pliskin. Yeah, I'm in the States as well. Yep. Coming from three re Three's Company reruns to Weenie equals time machine. I don't know if I got that joke. Is there a ticker in TOS to see the Euro versus the Swiss franc? I'm not sure. Euro versus Swiss franc? Okay, here we go. Euro Swiss franc, Euro CHF. So here we go, the Euro versus the Swiss franc. Looks like the Euro's being clobbered compared to that currency pair. Look at these lots. I've never traded Forex, you guys. It's one of the, I think it's the only market I haven't traded. Very interesting. It really just looks trendless. Gosh. Uh, shot, you Forex people are cool, but um, cracked. <laughs> like this, uh, this price action, maybe. Eh, I mean, am I just drawing lines? Probably. Do I draw lines all the time? Yes. Do the lines happen to be support and resistance? Yes. Yeah, 1.08 seems to kind of be that flush point and... Uh, yeah, 1.086. Is that resistance? If it could get above there, yeah, could continue. Quest trade gets great fills, but I pay a ton of money in commissions. 
Some of these places are not offering free trades and dirt cheap option trades, but worried about the fill quality. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's definitely interesting. That's for sure. Hey, Netflix went green today. Five ninety five. Hey, good move, Netflix. Should have went with the uh, the debit spread. Let's close out KHC. Okay. Macro. But yeah, Netflix, Bryce, Netflix continued its uptrend. I should have uh, sold the weeklies. Um, on Friday, I swing traded Netflix and Netflix literally just sold off. But yeah, big move from the lows on Netflix. Should have sold the puts expiring this week. But if there's a pullback, I'd like to add to Netflix. So Netflix, Bryce, it's looking like it might give me that max profit, $250. As long as Netflix nice. stays on this price, though, for two weeks, I guess. And that's the problem. The expiration date on credit spreads, you get paid once it's expiration date. Yeah. That's, I mean, you can still get paid beforehand, right? But it's just, it won't be your max profit. Yeah, and there's Boeing rolling over. We talked about that. Bros fading lower. Bros, if it gets oversold tomorrow, could be a dip buy. Q, Q, Q pop, then got smacked. Yeah, we talked about the range boundness, right, on the spy. Range bound. Option sellers winning. Option sellers winning. Did pizza go down yet? Come down, pizza. Where's your order? Where's your I pulled order? it. I pulled it. I just set an alert. Oh, yeah, that might be easier. That's a better area to risk off of, even if it's just 60 cents. I could sell the weekly puts. But those, and that's another thing. It's like, uh, weekly versus non-weekly. That might not be long enough. Might not be. Might not. How many shares slash ETFs are in your watch list? Oh. Uh, you can see them all right there. Yeah, not a lot. I have the XLF up here. Financials, literally short sellers getting away with a three penny stop loss, just shorting resistance. Had a little bit of a volume. But yeah, just no breakouts on the market. Right back in. Uh, financials, I got XLF, QQQ, right? Those are the ones I really care about. I have the IWM. I don't have the XLV, which is down today. Healthcare, lagging. And that's um, probably in correlation with mRNA getting clapped today. Moderna, 110. Again, Moderna oversold dip buy. Probably tomorrow. We'll see, though. The panic could be just getting started. Drop, bear flag drop, kickback rally into resistance drop. What is my outlook on um, PLTR with the next two weeks? We see it run to 31. We could. Gotta check the options chain. In the next two weeks, we are not, well, there's only a 27% chance that we touch 31 on PLTR in two weeks. Actually, really, October 8th, it's even less than that. There's a 20% chance that we touch 31. So that means there's an 80% chance that we do not touch 31. There's an 80% chance that we do not touch 31. And there's the spy, wiggling, stiggling. Hmm.
stupid spy. <laughs> Just go up. I told you the, 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 the consolidation is um, it's it's not meant for you know. The, I feel like this marketplace isn't for being active all day. Yeah, it's not. You're supposed to like. I feel yeah. like you're supposed to buy and hold, hold for the day or week or yeah. a few days. Like, don't like. Doesn't it feel good to be in a Netflix position, but not like some crazy day trade? It's just just peaceful to just watch it zigzag higher. Does it? Yeah. Um, and same with AMD. Because also with options trading, you get paid for your time. It, 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 on the on the spreads, yes. The spreads. And just looking through the watch list. Market looks like it wants to go sideways to slightly higher. And there's Target. Target, I might do the swing trade. Uh. Okay, now let's grab Target. I do want to risk off of this 240. Mm. Don't think Target goes to 245. Hmm. Seems a tough one to construct. The only Netflix position I have is watching Money Heist. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, give me the fill. Are you in shares? Shares and one vertical call spread. So I just want target at about 240, 250 by the end of the week. Okay. My alert was that 237 to grab the dip by. So I shall honor that. I would have liked to have gotten it lower. But yeah. Is Baba coming to break out? Asks Tony. Baba's it's like, already had a breakout yeah, today. Been going. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it, it could. I said 155 is the next target if you're long Baba. 155. Yep. Spy is sideways. Yep. Yep. Can you TA? BAC on the daily, please. Oh, yeah. Bank of America. We talked about the financials. Bank of America looks just like the financials. Having a strong day on the daily time frame looks like it wants to approach all-time highs. What about it? It looks like it'll just go sideways and chug along slightly higher. If it comes back into 4266, that could be a dip buy. 4266 on BAC, Bank of America. Yeah, nice, good move. Facebook is a beast. Is it at, did it hit 355? 355 is my number. 356, actually. It's almost well, up there. 356.06 is my number for Facebook. I'm back and up over one hundred dollars on my spy iron condors. Oh, nice! You're doing the nice, daily Tim. spy iron condors. Tim L's just like new market environment. I got it. Let's sell some. Let's sell some credit spreads over here. Iron condor, boom, Tim's beast a, mode. Tim's um adapting. Yeah, well done on adapting. <laughs> adding to your target vertical no no i'm just i'm um, setting a bracket for the end of the day the banks are doing well today yeah banks having a party spy still just flopping around maybe we should maybe you should break down bank stocks in your video 
since they're rallying today. They're yeah, Bank well. of America, Goldman Sachs, 401. Wow. Remember the FOMC day shenanigans? <laughs> what a goofy, Child's goofy play. chart. Didn't even matter. Goldman Sachs, though, coming into resistance at 404. Oh. Uh... Wells Fargo. Something. Wells Fargo? Shenanigans candle today. Whoa. Wells Fargo. <laughs> All the banks are doing well. Wells today. Fargo to pay thirty-seven million dollar penalty for overcharging currency customers. Poo. Uh, if I if I could choose, I would do, you know, short Wells Fargo. Oh, Snapchat's breaking out. So Snapchat eighty was the dip buy today. It just took all day. So normally when I'm looking for a dip buy, I want the stock to dip buy and go. Not but it just kind of hung out because what it does is if it ha hung, hangs out is it creates a bear flag. Yeah, and that makes it usually likely to go lower because it didn't get a good enough bounce. It still could go higher though, but there's the Snapchat breakout. Good stuff. Yeah. Roblox bouncing off support. Target doing the two ninety two thirty nine. Oh no, the, the wasps are back. Outside. Yeah. They're waiting. Scary. They want their cut, Bryce. <laughs> They're just hovering outside the window. And you sprayed down all of the spiders last night. That would keep them at bay. Scary. Scary. I'm scared to move the stop up. It's like, uh, uh, <laughs> please. <laughs> I'm just trying to have some structure in my life, Target. I shop at you all the time. OP for Roblox for OP. That's not fair. Wells Fargo is literally the Meg of banks. <laughs> You're going to see banks go upward whenever a big fish gets scared of inflation, boogeyman. Yeah, that's how it goes, isn't it? Spray those nests. I like to let them grow just a bit to waste their time when it keeps pests down. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're just what like, stay you, busy. What do you spray them with, Honda Moose? Yeah, what do you spray them with? Be careful. t moths for swing puts? T-Mobile? I'd say you're, you know, there's not really too much edge. We could just consolidate down here uh, because we've already made a big lo move lower sample stuff. So now we might need to consolidate for a bit before breaking lower or even moving higher. But I would say no, there's better things to short, like coin. <laughs> but, you know, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Spray them at night, they'll be home. AMC an example of not a dip buy. No, I asked what do you spray them with, not when. But that's a good tip, because then you can get them all. Do you get like a, a specific wasp killer spray? We're just home buyers trying to get tips. <laughs> yeah, the cheapest stuff. Hopefully you wear a mask. Wear a mask so you don't breathe it in. AMC, an example of not a dip buy. I, have, I purposely left up AMC as, with a down arrow <laughs> while we were at the gym. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I know. A mask? Ouch, my freedom. For the wasp spray. It's like when you wear a mask when you're, I don't know, grinding wood and there's like dust. Sp 
spray and run. That's the tactic. <laughs> Tesla 300 tomorrow? <laughs> Good one, Ponchi. How'd my DNA go? DNA still just swing trading it? Uh, the, DNA is frustrating because I said in the pre-market I love DNA over 13. And Thinkorswim wouldn't let me buy it for some reason. But I eventually was able to get DNA, but then hit a stop. Did very well trading it, positive on it, but only by $37. Um, and that's after all the stop outs and shenanigans. Again, still just kind of hodl in target, looking for a little bit of a move higher. But I don't know. I might get ready to go flat today. I'm trying to hold for the bigger win. I don't know, though. Spy's super choppy. make sure they aren't bees they're definitely not bees <laughs> i hope we wouldn't have to get up on a ladder to spray them the the top of our roof is pretty pretty high off the ground yeah we need the bees i agree <laughs> save the bee population etsy had a three dollar move today did it oh my gosh Oh, wow. Yeah, Etsy. Andrew Ditter, you called that one out. Beautiful move over 222. Two, two. Going for their. That's their awesome. New highs. Yeah, going for new highs. That's the setup right there. I love it. Yeah, Etsy on the daily time frame, now coming back to life. 239 is the next area of resistance. UNG, natural gas getting a big. Uh, Pump today, looks like. Natural gas, UNG. Forward slash NG. Yeah, natural gas. Whoa. Who knew that this was going to have such a big breakout from the three? Wow, that's awesome. Target, I'm just going to swing trade that option, not the shares. Although it'd be nice, that's for sure. Yeah, still on DNA, Netflix, Snapchat. Are those swings? Target. Yep. The firm did very well, but oh. Interesting stuff. Mm. Had them burgers crawl right through the cheap stuff of the gator shower. Spent the extra two dollars for the raid. Burgers. Buggers. Oh, man. Oh, buggers. <laughs> Dang it. I, um, I took profits too soon on Target. Hmm. Okay, what is the next thing? My attention... You took profits too soon? When did you take profits? You just got in. I know. Hmm. Uh huh? Okay, what's the next What's the next stock in line, Bryce? What, what have uh -huh. I covered versus not covered? Ryan asks if cold is a dip buy range. What is cold? Cold. C O L D. You have to look at. You'd want that. Weekly. They're not. They don't look. They don't look like they're confident in swing trading this. There's no signs of recovery for this. You could try and dip buy it. I wouldn't. Um. Although it is extended to the downside, I will say that. You would want it to gap on a gap down and extended. That's when you'd want to dip by it. You could do it right now, though, if you think it's the low, but that's risky because buyers are not holding it into the close. That's why the end of the day close matters a lot. It shows confidence in holding overnight. Look at this. Nobody's wanted to hold this overnight for, for the past like two weeks. 
closing at the lows and then gapping down and then going. Close at the lows, gap down and go. You'd want that trend to break. So lots of shenanigans on cold. Americold Reality Trust. Something looks sketchy. There, if you ask me. We've got Monique. Hey, Weenie, is PLTR a buy the dip opportunity for a couple week long swing trade? You would want to wait for lower prices. It's just having its first red day after having an amazing run. So PLTR, me personally, I'm waiting. I would wait for 26, 2650. Bees are fine. If they're bees, call a beekeeper. They'll take them down for free. I didn't know that. Yeah, no entry it's points good. on any of them. I know it's, it, I agree. That's the thing with ETSY, Etsy. I don't, I didn't see any like compel based off the pattern, any compelling trades or entry prices. Upstart to 340 again? It could. It's gotten as high as 341 today. If it holds this higher low pivot, 328. Yeah. 320 was the low today. Big move off of that 320. I've been saying upstart 310 is the dip buy, and I haven't gotten that damn 310. That one day it got as low as 312, and it was just the most awkward pivot. But yeah, upstart, more bullish than bearish, right? Dish, one hour flag day, dish. Dish network, bull flag, yep, great one. I hate dish network. <laughs> but it's showing a bull flag short term. Uh, what, what the, the thing is, is I don't know how far it gets because there's just resistance that short ahead. Versus the risk you'd take on that bull flag buy might not be worth it up to that 45.69. Unless you're really fast. Yes. Or you just um, like lower risk to rewards, but sometimes it's a higher probability. You're closing all, all positions. Tomorrow's a dumpster fire. Totally could be, yeah. Totally could be. Anything can happen. Third ward, left eye died in the 90s. What do you mean? Your left eye died in the 90s? You caught my meaning. Went over Bryce and Weenie's head. <laughs> Monique caught? says... Buy and sell by a penny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what do you mean by that, La Rebecca? Yeah, stocks into the close. Don't see anything too crazy. Oh, he's talking about a pop group. TLC from the 90s, the crazy one died. Oh, someone died. I'm sorry to hear that third board. Yeah, sample stuff. Those are the ones that make you lose, um, hold losers longer because you see what AMD did. Yeah, AMD, definitely a little bit tricky. I mean, I thought it was a great deal at 104. It was, it was. just, it was, um, but not within that time frame. But yeah, AMD, it's very, in terms of, that's very rare that you, well, actually look at the hourly time frame. This makes logical sense, right? Look, look at this area of drop, bear flag, drop. Turns into resistance, higher low, breaks out, holds it as support, holds the top end of support, holds the top end of support. And that was just the gap down there at 104. And that's why I was buying at 104. But I just, you got to give a little bit more room for the extra orders stopping out and flushing it lower. So AMD, right idea. 
too tight of a stop. But yeah, it, 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 that, that, is, that is pretty rare that you just bust right on through. And they didn't give any really good um, signals. It's just Higher happened. low pivot right here, 106.74. The bulls that got this pivot right there are cool. The ones that bought at 106.50. That's a mid -day. Stop loss underneath 106.25. Very clear 25 cent risk and the bulls that bought that higher low pivot, now $2 in the money, a little bit less than $2 in the money off a 25 cent stop. And there's the spy dump into the close. Dump, dump on the spy into the close, wow. Big, 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 uh, nasty 50, drop. The 250 candle. Yeah. The 50 minute candle. <laughs> 229.66. Okay, TA got whacked today. Glad I sold last week at 255. Oh, yeah. O okay, TA. 260 is my resistance. Big dump from that level. Look at this. Boom, drop, lower high, drop, bear flag, drop, bear flag, drop. What? Where's it going to go from here? Where's it going to go from here? Well, it's it's such a difficult thing because it depends on where it gaps. Mm -hmm. But 249 is the resistance. And then... Yeah, 232 might be the support. I don't know. That's a tricky one. Spy poop. Yep, see, spy just shenanigans. Shenanigans into Sideways the close. Sideways shenanigans. On the daily time frame, Doji, looks like we could see a little bit more downside tomorrow. So I was looking at the Boeing short. I didn't pull the trigger on it. It's interesting. I, I need to more, be more confident in my setups because I'm missing my setups. But then I'm taking lackluster setups like A-T-E-R. Because you missed what? Would you miss? That made you go to A-T-E-R. Does that question make sense? Boeing, the Boeing short. Oh. The Boeing short, was it, eyeing it up at 228, but. And yeah. if you just would have done it anyways, after missing, it would have still paid. Mm -hmm. But yeah, ATR, nothing, you know, nothing wrong with that entry right there. Stop loss right here, but literally just hit, hits resistance. One, two, look at that dump, three, four, Four times. Big dump. Big flush. Disney's all over the place. Hopefully over 190 by end of year. Uh, that's, no, Disney. We talked about Disney being range bound today. And it's still range bound on the daily. Disney's range bound on like all time frames. Bulls are hoping for a monthly bull flag. We'll see if they get it or not. But yeah, selling off into the close. Selling off into the close. Most stocks looks like they want to get beaten down. And there's the spy. Still getting clapped. Could flip short, and that's kind of the tricky thing. It's like, okay, well, still long DNA, Netflix, and Snap. And Target. I'm all long now. So now the spy is dumping when... It's it's difficult when Spy does a consolidation all day, and then at the end of the day decides to to dump. Well, so if you built up range. if you've built up any positions during this time, it's shenanigans. It is still in the range, but it's likely to drop now. How long do you have your positions for? Can you have them for this week and next week? Gonna sing the sound of silencer and video at the end of the day. Yeah, lots of stocks getting clapped. Into the close. Money being pulled out of the markets. Very, very interesting. Just range bound all day. Yep, five minutes to close.
Roblox is moving well. RBLX. Roblox. Yeah. 7774 is my number. But I don't know. I do not mind a Shopify short position, though. If we can break down on tech. 1334 is the support. Thirteen thirty four. Thirteen sixty, thirteen eighty by thirteen sixty. That's two grand. Costing what's your risk? Two hundred. Whoa, they filled me at one point seven. Okay, they gave me a good fill. No. Good on you, Thinkorswim. 1380 by 1360. Is there a government shutdown, Honda Moose? Or is it just a rumor? Tesla falling off in the clothes? Yeah, t t Tesla to 800. There you go. I just got watermelon slushy from the boba tea place and the film on top has a sad looking ape on it frowning i thought it was a fitting metaphor for my stonk performance as of late oh a sad ape sad amc ape but you're not in amc keller are you are apes in dogecoin or that's not a th i don't know yeah tesla big dump into the close tesla now rewarding those that had patience. Seven ninety nine though that marked that high right there. Bears that stepped in and shorted in front of eight hundred. And there's Moderna. Yeah, I'd like a Moderna gap down, sell off into support. That could be cool. Okay, not yet. Debt ceiling talks and grand standing. Oh, very fun. How would that lead to a government shutdown, though? What? What would lead Debt to Debt ceiling talks. Well, because you can't decide, okay, do we uh, extend the debt ceiling? Or do we start uh, paying it now? I don't think the U.S. will default. So we're going to probably start paying, but probably something in the middle where you postpone the payments. Am I right or am I wrong? <laughs> Apes were a GME thing and then it went into everything. Okay, it went into everything. I thought it was just GME and AMC. And it was a stock thing, but maybe it carries over into crypto. Oh, they're, they're stalling it. <laughs> but yeah into the close neo bullish close 38 would be the next area a firm bullish close a firm looks bullish to me like it wants to continue higher and break out and continue if a firm is above 130 it could be a breakout otherwise 130 was 131 was the high today wow Ding, 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 ding. Baba, good move higher. GameStop, choppy. AMD, bullish. Tesla would love a dip buy. Tan. Nothing. IWM, good move higher, but then rolled back in a little bit. Financials up on the day, sideways the rest of the day. Uber, good trend day today for Uber, but really, really whippy. Unless you caught the morning dip. The volatility was sucked out for the rest of the day. Boeing looks like it wants to come into support. 222. Baidu. Yeah, nothing there. Gold, nothing there. Coinbase would love a gap up to short. Facebook hit, hit that resistance, sold off. DraftKings. Yeah. Netflix. I am long Netflix with a put credit spread. So I'm selling puts on Netflix, protected puts. Shopify and bear Shopify. I'm short Shopify. Looking for the mid 1300s later this week. SPCE. Spy. 
Probably going to make a quick lower low on SPY. I can leave the uh, update. Premium so much higher on the put side of things on SPY and QQQ. Pretty sure most of the market says we're heading lower. It could be, yep. Yeah. So what are you swinging? Oh boy, it's going to be it's going to be quite long. Um DNA Netflix Shopify Snapchat Target I'm making a list for you. Yep. So you remember. And I remember. Thoughts on oil RSDB Oil center sector has been bumping lately. Yep, Ryan. Um, uh, oil I've been bullish on Ford slash CL. Probably is, is, we've been talking about this for quite a while. Oh well, every time I can. But it, it, oil still. I'll say ninety dollars a barrel. Probably coming on up. So Ford slash CL. You know, just just broke out of a flag pattern. A little consolidation breakout over that sixty six dollars a barrel. On a dip on oil, I would not mind. Potentially going bullish. And the Senate Republic say, hold my champagne. <laughs> okay, Luna USDT, one hour. I'm going to break this down, but then I've got to get going. Luna USDT. On the daily time frame, Luna looks bullish. We talked about this one. We broke out. We snapped back in, but we held the, the bottom end of consolidation. Now I moved higher, pulled back, held it on the, as support. I'd be bullish Luna. If you're looking at the hourly time frame, um, short term, you want that pivot of 37.50 to hold. And in terms of stops, you've got to probably give it 33.20. Otherwise, yeah, Luna looks interesting. Can I do Coinbase Pro? Can I show Coinbase Pro on this? Maybe I can do a day where I trade some crypto. But you guys, we got we got people rolling out and with with good reason. You guys, thank you so much for tuning in, hanging out. Um, for those of you holding down the fort during the middle of the day, I don't know if I like it yet. It's a little being like, away a little from nervous. the computer yeah, and I can't being away. and I can't uh, adjust her if anything goes crazy. Mm -hmm. But nonetheless, you guys stay tuned. Stay tuned to the LLC channel. Yes, we're almost able to be monetized on the LLC channel. Be sure to hit the like and sub. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. bye.